Hey, this is Ross Bain from Old Man Bubble Grade. We're playing Delta Green, God's Teeth. This is episode five. Uh, picking up from the Colorado Part job. two of, of God's God. Breath. God's Breath. Yeah. Enjoy all the colons in this title. <laughs> Mocking J Part Two. I have, there shall be many. I alternate between colons and dashes. Ooh. That's yeah. smart. Good move. Hmm. Yeah. Well, what about brackets. Close to no No. You heard That's it here first, listeners. RPPR can afford two types of punctuation. <laughs> <laughs> No, thank you, pa- offend my aesthetic. Thank you, Patreon. Uh, <laughs> Joe Ross, you finally got the perk for that? Yeah, <laughs> so, to, um, it's been a while, so to refresh everyone, uh, what you discovered uh, last time in your uh, investigation of transient smoke is that there is the uh, Valley Dirt Lands and Motor Speedway, which is where transient smoke has its grow house. Uh, it is staffed <laughs> almost exclusively by Chocho. Uh, which you discovered through your Delta Green contacts. Um, it is run by CEO Chi Bin. Uh, there is also a uh, farm in the outskirts, uh, about an hour and a half away, uh, owned by one Cooper Flynn. Uh, it appears to be a disused ranch house. You can't see any farming actually being done there uh, in satellite imagery. And you do know that the Chocho has infiltrated their uh, security personnel uh, which is Instant Deterrent Security, a private military contractor employing veterans for private security for their uh, movement throughout the area. Um, before you left, you managed to suborn the uh, regulatory procedures uh, in, operated by Denver, Colorado for legal marijuana, uh, enough to get a, it, once you send the warrants out, a, a uh, federally mandated SWAT team to aid you in raiding the places. Uh, but you have three basic targets. You have the Chochos within uh, Instant Deterrent Security. You have the Valley Dirt Lands Motor Speedway slash Grow House. And then you've got the weird ranch out of nowhere that apparently everyone goes to, but no one knows what goes on there. <coughs> uh, and you can plan that. But before we get there, Dom has been in a hospital in Reno <laughs> recovering. So, Dom, you're going to establish a new bond. Great. You're going to do that. That's what you're doing. All right. I, uh... That is one of the uh, vignette actions you can do. Okay. Uh, but it's the vignette action he a... will do. Yes, I have a uh, feeling that this I know. Is... <laughs> well, there are mechanics is what I'm saying. Uh, yes. Um, so. Um, well, does he have to roll or is he just treat it as a success? Oh, uh, no, he can roll later. Uh, but if he, well, if he fails to roll, he doesn't get the bomb. I know. I'll let him choose. Okay. Oh, uh, you, to roll or not? Yeah, I'll, I'll let you choose after. So give me a female name, Dom. Cecilia. Cecilia. Excellent. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Oh, nice. Uh, so you're, you're waiting in your lovely Reno hospital room. Uh, you've just recently got a uh, coded message that you will be leaving as soon upon discharge and uh, directly heading towards Colorado. Okay. Uh, and you will receive your service revolver once there. Uh, so it's pretty disconcerting as to what you're going to do. You haven't been versed in what uh, Team Masticate has been doing lately. All right. Um, when at, at, at the door to your room, uh, you get a lovely private room because no one wants you to ramble secrets in your nightmare-filled sleep. Uh, yes. uh, and you, uh, there's a young woman in a, a far too young woman. Huh. Like 19, 20? Oh. If she can drink yet, she's taking care of herself. She's very young, uh, covered in tattoos. Okay. And and very gothy settings. Like, holy shit, you weren't lying. Me? Yes. Dude. Oh, baby, man, you're so fucking hardcore. She comes over and kisses you full on the mouth. Uh, man, I I don't I don't know who you are. I uh, where? Who, who are you? Who are you? Are you fucking with me again, Aiden? Aiden. Oh man, you fucking with me like you fucking with Reggie, were you? Whoa. Don't fuck with me like no, that, no, no, man. No, no, no. You can't bullshit where, 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 a bullshit. Where'd, where'd, where'd you hear that name? Where'd you hear that name? Oh, Aiden, don't fuck with me. All right, see, let's see how it's operating. Let's see how it is. Let's see how? I gotta see. You know, I got the cream and shit. Let me look at it. At what? Uh, <laughs> so she she pulls up your your gown. Okay. Uh, you you look down at your tattoo. What's it say? You, oh, you saw that symbol before. It was on a Polaroid picture. 
thought that I showed him? Yeah. No. <laughs> that prophecy. <laughs> that prophecy is true. I stare, gaping mouth, silent. <laughs> She's really good looking. She seems really into you. Uh, I, I I try and uh, struggle to get the gown back down and push her back. With, I I wasn't in the right mind. I uh, uh can you give me a moment? I just need to to think about this. I don't I don't know who you are. Um, I don't know how you know my uh, my dead friend. Do you? You're way too young to have known him. I. <laughs> Where did I meet you? I don't play this shit. Okay. I mean, I've been hurt before. I've been burned. Is that hard? I, okay, no, no, no. She's going to cut that tattoo off. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I don't know what she wants to do with that tattoo. I'm being very serious. I, I'm like three times your age. How, why? Listen, I... Three times? You're 26. Oh, but that's before the time job. Oh, 36. Twice. Yes. No, it's 15 years later, so you'd be 41. Okay. So, I... Listen. So, twice her age. Can we sort this out later? Um, what's your name? Uh, Cece. Okay. We talked about that, Aiden. Don't... I... Listen, I... I've had a rough couple... Look, I know you like fucking with people. I get it. I'm into that, too. But, like, you know... I just right. want to make sure. It looks like it's healing well. No, so it's, it's healing. You just need well. to apply this. You want to make sure it doesn't fade. Right. I'm going to have to do touch ups. T- you did this. Yeah. Remember, you came in Saturday night. <clears throat> Reggie's like, won't fucking work on some guy in a hospital gown. And you're obviously drunk. You bit his face. And then I was like, fuck, man, that was crazy. And you're like, don't worry, I'm a cop. And I'm like, holy shit. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then you were like, you were cool about it. So I'm like, yeah, I mean, Reggie won't let me do shit. And you're like, because Reggie's a pussy. And I'm like, fuck yeah, he is. And then I did the shit, and it looks great. It's a weird design, but yeah. (laughs) I have gotten (laughs) stony-faced. Staring at some far-off object that certainly isn't there. Compliment her work. Hello, Doc. Tell her it looks great. (laughs) CC? Huh. See, somebody cares about you. <laughs> somebody, at least. You got someone. <laughs> you have your exit. Take it. Hi. You're right, the tattoo looks great. Uh, right now, I'm very tired. Uh, I'm very hungover. Uh, if you would let me rest, I would appreciate that. I will call you later. Oh, yeah, you got that fucking nine in your show. Yeah, no, I understand. <laughs> call me. Yeah. Yeah, All right, so I'm going to let you choose, Dom, because you're in control. You can establish a new bond here. I want to establish a bond. She thinks you're Aiden, or you could just not roll for it. I want to establish a bond. All right, uh, you have to roll for it, but if you succeed, <laughs> CC will be, you know, your lady. All right, what I have in the uh, Quick Start Guide, which I don't know if you're Draft of Change or not, uh, roll Charisma times five. Yeah, it's Charisma times five. Charisma times five, okay. What's your Charisma? Eight. So 40. You need a 40 or less. All right. No. 72. No, you can't quite do it. Okay. That part about biting the face. <laughs> really. And she really didn't okay instill confidence in you. <laughs> that, no, that's what won her over. I know. That's uh, why you're not establishing a bond. Yeah. It's a deal breaker sometimes. So, yeah. yeah. Sometimes. Uh, all right. So uh, you travel no, to no, no, after no. immediately upon being discharged. You get in a plane and go to Colorado to the misery and hell uh, that has become your life. Uh, so uh, you are all arranging plans. Um, you currently have access to a federal anti-terror SWAT team. You do not have spec ops no-name ninjas yet, uh, unless you want to go further on that. But that no, is a I think path you That go. was basically... Causing a major terrorist incident. Well, with your plan you came up with, yes. Uh, so, but you know, we got a full night of adventuring ahead of us for the climax. So well, there the- are three basic locations. There's the ranch. There's the fact that the instant current guys have been infiltrated by the Chocho, so you don't suspect they're going to be on the level. And then there is the uh, 
the grow house next to the BMX slash dirt bike park. Um, and you probably want to hit all of those at once so they don't call each other. Or you could try and do overwhelm- overwhelming force on one and get to one later. Uh, but the, the plan is basically up to you. Basically, you've dissected their system. You know what everything's about. Because uh, you did pretty careful investigation. And for all you know, you didn't tip them off. Uh, well, there was that weird incident at the... Uh, uh, I think that was... Right. What, I can't remember what it was called. It was where they were checking the weed. Yeah. Uh, that was the grow house. Yes, the uh, RFID tag yeah. location. We got the data, um, but... How many well, they know something funky, but they don't know necessarily that there's um, a How many blow. people do we yeah. have with the squad? Is it just like one squad of like 15 to 20 guys, or is it pretty it's much... It's a plot amount of guys. Uh, no, it's not. It is a ready team fire assist team with an overwatch and an asset package. Uh, you will be the asset package if you go in because you are the specialist. <laughs> um, basically, you will be watched. Otherwise, it'll be a ready team fire assist uh, fire team with an Overwatch, meaning that you will have a sniper. Uh, you will have a ready, which will be a scout uh, spec person. You will have a uh, team, which will be the team leader. A fire, which will be heavy artillery. In the Marines, that's typically uh, a large machine gun, a saw or something. But in a SWAT team, that means the guy with the striker full of slugs and beanbags and buckshot and the cornucopia of shotgun rounds <laughs> uh, to shoot at people and many, many grenades. Uh, you also have the assist, which is the ammo horse uh, that basically carries the tack information ammo, for here. everybody else. Yeah. Uh, you will have two of those teams. You will have two five to six man SWAT teams. That you will go in. Oh, so they're split down yeah, to the middle. Well, so, I mean, uh, you have basically a squadron made of two fire teams. So, if we hit all three locations at the same time, we're spreading ourselves thin. Unless we get, uh, I mean, can we call in local PD as well? Like at least to cordon off the area or whatever. Well, uh, yes, you can. But remember, uh, Delta Green wants you to be thorough on this yeah. job. So a bunch of cops with body cams. Yeah. is not going to be swell as you start executing ethnic minorities on the parking lot of a dirt bike track. Um, because, oh, wait, which wait. is what it's going to Dude, look like. No, come on. We can, because we, it's really hard to prove cultism in a video camera. Dude, come on. We can look at the camera like, it's okay, they're not human. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'll no, be No, it's going to go great. Um, That's going to set race relations you way you, forward. You, uh, you, uh, you also know that the that. grow house is buried. It is literally buried under mounds of dirt. Mm. Uh, which you discovered, and there is one entrance way down. So you recall that the best way in would be to get into instant deterrent security and get in with the team that goes to uh, the grow house. Uh, if you could get a man inside, they could try and secure the base, like the entrance, and that would make everything easier. Otherwise, uh, aside from like a bunker buster bomb, it's going to be hard to get in there, right. and they will have a you know, big staircase to shoot at you. There's no other ways in that we found through, like, uh, drone drone (laughs) penetrating radar or anything like that? No, you've not seen anything from satellite. Okay. Um, Am I meeting up with these guys somewhere? Yes, uh, they are in a downtown Denver office building. Uh, Dom comes limping in. Limping, or...? Uh, He's he's a little tender on his side, Uh, probably from where the bullet hit. Yeah, it's where the bullet hit. Chest looks itchy, though. (laughs) <laughs> he was yeah because you were shot in in a car wreck right uh, yeah. yeah that was bad <laughs> I, uh, I guess I, I enter the room and look around to see the new faces uh, where's where's Neil where's oh where's yeah anyone? didn't hear about him did you uh, they didn't tell you tell me what uh, why don't we go in the other room? They're not <laughs> members of the team anymore. Why don't it's been a while? Why don't we reintroduce ourselves yeah. to the new team members and everybody else? So, <laughs> uh, Ross, what's your yeah. character again? Uh, I'm Agent uh, Arthur Provost, uh, and I hate the feds. Uh, <laughs> As I am one. Yes. <laughs> and you're recently been throwing up because you yeah. desire to kill mythos entities. Well, mythos victims. And you hunger pangs. And you that, keep and you keep not doing that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the problem is that it doesn't distinguish between victims and victimizers. Yes. Uh, so. Oh, uh, Aaron, I'm playing Special Agent Lydia Cantrell, an FBI profile who was brought in on the project to uh, 
field stabilize everybody's condition on Team Masticate. How's that working uh, out? About as well as you would think. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've got my shit together. I haven't killed anybody yet. You are all <laughs> crazy as hell. <laughs> yes. Yes, we are. I, I beg to differ on that. I think I'm the sanest man in the room. Uh, my human of 80 says, fuck you. Actually, it's okay. It's just that whole corruption of, uh, you that know, from stuff. suckling at that teat that one time. <laughs> uh, so that's a thing. Um, Dr. Kamarov, resident crocodile Hi, Dr. Man, Kamarov. And uh, FBI forensic pathologist. By the way, requisitioning um, body armor and tactical shotgun for this raid. Yes. Yeah. You can do that. And I'm Faust, I'm playing Dom Paul Kalog, and also sometimes I'm playing Aiden, depending on <laughs> if I'm dissociated or not. Uh, You're fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I, I'm i surprised at all the new faces in the room. As last I heard, me, Neil, and Harper were sitting in a car together. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no. Can I be in the room? I'm going to be in the room with you on that one, because that's... Uh, okay. I will. No, this anyway, is the ghost of Harper coming back here. I'm Sean, I'm playing Klaus Jimenez. Uh... A former interrogation specialist for the cartel, who is on loan from a, uh, are we saying Federal Department of Corrections? Or? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On loan from the U.S. Marshals. Hey. And also requisitioning body armor, handgun, and an AR-15 or something like that. Oh, I'll fun. give you whatever you want. Don't uh, worry about it. Cool. Uh, this is Tom. Just, I'm playing uh, Alex Moore, Army Ranger. Nice. And uh, I will also be requisitioning... Actually, if I could actually get my hands on a saw, that'd be lovely. <laughs> Probably not in civilian territory. Next to a Again, youth dirt bike chair. <laughs> Again, we didn't they frown it. on saws. <laughs> For uh, some crazy reason. <laughs> but I will let you break the news to Dom while I use the bathroom. Yes. Um, yeah. uh, so, they didn't tell you. Um, uh, no, no, they didn't. They didn't make it. Um, How? What? The uh, it's a sorry, funny. what was your character's last name? Uh, your previous character. Yeah, who? Oh, who Harper. You? Harper. Harper uh, took one in the head. Oh, so, um, uh, but okay, then the consolation. Uh, he died very quickly. I, instantly. So well, okay. as opposed to the last. But then uh, Neil, um, you know, we he figured out what was going on, and the same thing that happened to the two eggheads at the uh, uh, drone place happened to him, oh, as far God. as we can tell. The official story is that he disappeared. Oh god! The well, they disappeared story is too. That he disappeared. Oh, oh, poor Neil. Yeah. No, and yeah, poor guy. This is a lot of, to take in, and mm-hmm. if you feel that that's like as we are about to mm-hmm. conduct on what will be considered a large scale oh, raid, to oh, that's like eliminate that's like mm-hmm. eliminate obvious threats. Actually, um, no, hold on. I, I was like, I honestly think it would be almost better for if you would stay back on the sidelines. Oh, no. Uh, no, 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 no. It's better for... It, we're I'm always got to eat. Uh, humans. <laughs> uh, well, I don't even probably need the humans on there. <laughs> Let's take... Because I'm assuming... Oh, you're you're just hanging on it by a thread, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you've read his file. Yeah. You know he's... No, 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 no. Just don't. No, no, no you for a second. To... I'm going in. Can yeah. I see you? No. I don't even know who you are, so... Lydia Cantrell at the profile. I've okay. been brought in. I'm talking about he's a team leader. I am. Oh, right. Is it he? Um, Between well, Provost. He was a right. senior agent. No, he. The Kamarov's a senior agent. No, so it's up to him. Yeah. <laughs> um, or I can just make a call right now. And Look, s- he has effect on target. Yeah, That's effect on target, matters. and then everybody else who's going to he's going to take in his path. You're going to want him out there. Because, again, he has to eat. And you can't it's eat a way if you of putting it. That's a way of putting it. Now him. I'm thinking you probably shouldn't go out. <laughs> oh, but no, we have to. Fine. Trust me, the program, I mean, you're part of the program too. Yeah, the program is best fine. for all of us. <laughs> okay, well. Don't worry, you can dope us all up after it's over if we're still standing. Well, I can oh. also, I also do have authority I think to I take care of this. So anymore. before we, I send him out there anyway, since I do have much well, like medical clearance here. I went at least two hours with him to see if we can do anything. All right, we'll see how that works out. Yeah. Um, so do we'll you want to go... fit it into the schedule. Uh, so what are you guys doing? Do you want to go, 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 or do you want to gain more intel? Well, or I, 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 I think, um, judging from your guys' report about the IDS uh, CD, CEO uh, Marion, uh, mm. something, or Mar... 
Yes, the IDS CEO. Yeah. Uh, it sounded like he was on the fence and he wasn't too happy about having these business partners. Um, I think if we could intercept him right before he goes to work uh, and offer him a chance to make a clean break, he could divert or reroute his guys, or at least the guys he trusts, um, or set up, help us set up an ambush of the rogue elements. You want us, Flip him. You want us to acquire him? Well, we need to just talk to him, either detain him, but try to flip him now that we have Dom back. I think he can make a very persuasive so, case. you that, want us to acquire him? Uh, he's a witness, not a, an, or an informant, not a uh, target. <laughs> he's not friendly either. No, so, sorry. yeah, no, he's... So that's what I think. Like, okay. we get him, like, if there's got to be a narrow cases. window where we can talk to him and say, <laughs> look, we're going to raid this place. Join, you know... Join us. Help us fuck over your guys so we can take every down safely or there's going to be a bloodbath that's going to be on your hands and he can make that pitch I think probably uh, like, look at those eyes he's trustworthy yeah <laughs> look at that hold on no when you look at those eyes you see that there's no other way that he doesn't really care who lives and dies <laughs> that's a very persuasive uh, uh, point of view uh, okay sessions we're in session now <laughs> in crayon <laughs> are you in disagreement uh, the what so, what, what are we? No, that what sounds like a good idea. What are we so. doing here? Uh, okay, so the way the operation works is a transient smoke sells legal marijuana. Right. It's wrong. It's bad. It's corrupt, and it's connected to a cult. Okay. Uh, and it grows way faster than it should. Right. Okay. That's, it's like a uh, kudzu. Yeah. It's uh, it's corrupt. Marijuana kudzu. It's obviously modified. Uh, but because of the legal necessities of how the marijuana industry works. All their money has to be carried around in these armored trucks carried by a private military contractor. Okay. Private military contractor used to be a legitimate guy, uh, and he didn't realize who he was getting into bed with. Okay. It sounded like. So I think we can flip him and have him help us take down his operation, or at least his security guards, because he has a bunch of the cultists in his cop. They forced the, the cult forced him to take a bunch of cultists as oh to take him on so as the, guards. Right, right, right. So they're watching him. Right. So I think we can give him a way out um, if we talk, if we can get get to him without them knowing that he's been flipped. Okay. So like we get him before he gets to work in the morning. And what's his name? Uh, I know his first name is Marion. I forgot what it was. Marion. Uh, my handwriting is Marion's fine. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't remember. You don't remember his last name either. It was a month. Give me uh, a break. All right. <laughs> uh, so. Torg. Yeah. I see that poster. So his name's Marion Torg. <laughs> All right. Uh, Nothing yeah. can stop Torg. Yeah. Hopefully. He's like usual suspect. Hopefully everything can um, stop Torg. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Hopefully he's very easily stopped. Um, so I feel that's our best way to even the odds. Because then it becomes two locations we have to focus on rather than three. Um, but see then, if it's one of our cars? Yeah. I just stopped, so it's probably a neighbor. Do you want to take a... I'll see it. Okay. Car alarms. Woo! The urban equivalent of the cricket. <laughs> well, we're in suburbia, so. Uh, well, we're, we're, yeah, we're very urban. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's our best plan well to the even the out uh, before urban. the actual assault. Okay. Uh, unless there's any other ideas, because the dirt. Truck... All right, he doesn't know where you're coming. Uh, so where are you gonna hit him? Uh, at us. Who's home. going? Uh, like right since. Does, is he married? Or is he single? Uh, oh. be a research check. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I think Lydia and I are the most persuasive of the bunch. Uh, bureaucracy, actually. That's bureaucracy. bureaucracy. Uh, yes, 12. Nice. He's oh, married. He has three yeah. children. Uh, really good with words. Uh, uh, they are they fairly persuasive. Uh, uh, two of them are. Or what is it called? Words. My, well, but with the words alone, I've been pretty effective. Yeah, yes. persuades at 70, but... Um, yes. But you persuade... You, 70. you don't persuade the nice way. No. Well, I, I have mm. so far in the game. Okay, so, so, so here's what we're going to do. Nobody's got Bad cops? Axe cop. It works. Mm. What's well, a pretext we could lure him outside? Um, well, we don't want the goon squad on here, and no, uh, that's like no offense, Mister Jimenez, but I do not trust you as far as I can throw you. It doesn't matter so. what you think, actually. <laughs> well, the thing <laughs> is, surprisingly, like him, he's like... going to be armed at home, and if there's <laughs> intruders in his house, he's going to start shooting first. Mm. So. You have warrants. Yeah, we have warrants. Uh, you you put it under the 
terrorist mandate. You yeah. have magic yeah. Patriot Act. Okay. Oh. Special executive. <laughs> I mean, what are the chances we could do a no knock warrant and take them down without uh, the cult being alerted? That's just badges. Thing. You don't, you don't, don't have to do a no badges. knock. I mean, if you're trying to flip him, that probably wouldn't be the way to go. Okay. Well, we're, we want to. We're trying to get him on our side. Okay. Right? I imagine barging into. All right. Place. We'll just turn his. Uh, just get a cell phone jammer to make sure he can't make a call out. Okay. Uh, uh, and, and turn it and flip his landlines off. Do we know? Uh, Alan also just knock on his door. True. We can do that. Yeah. Then knock on his door. Because yeah. actually, I'm going to suggest that in character, only without a bad attempt at an accent. And we'll just why don't we just knock on his door? All right. I've taken plenty of people to their homes, and they open the door for me. All right. Again, this time we won't be doing that. I I understand. But let's just knock on his door. He'll probably answer it. Well, that's what I'm saying. We, do that, but we take down his communication silently, so he can't get the word out. Yeah. Uh, and then you and Alex, uh, and I guess you can go as well. Mm-hmm. Um, we tried, Lydia. So, um, well, I, we'll go. The rest of us will be waiting. He already knows uh, my face anyway, so... Exactly. That's why I was thinking. Um, um, knows his face in a good pa- uh, capacity? Yeah, like a child. Yeah, we we, we went we okay. in, you know, imitating okay. people. Okay. Pretending we, they were going to go for a job interview. I see. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. What pretext just, are we coming to his house on? We have a warrant. We're going to arrest. We're going to raid your company. Great. Help us make sure no one dies. Great. Because we don't want to shoot out. Mm, right. So we right. just need a convincing case that he's I like aiding terrorism. Lots of lead. <laughs> uh, appeal to a sense of patriotism. You didn't know. Your guys, you you can be cleared, but we have to take down these bad guys. So and they are. We have to clear. Yeah. And they are just that bad yeah. guys. Uh, so we've got the evidence for them supporting terrorism. Do you have right? any horrible photos of somebody who's been like shot? You have no. enough. Here you go. This is what these okay. Oh, here. But you don't have to show him any of it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I did this one. Okay. <laughs> like, safe here. At least legally. You only have to right. bring what you want to bring. <clears throat> okay, so. Go the McCarthy groups. Enough, to sus- enough to, for the warrant. All right. Yeah. So why don't we do that? Uh, All right. Take down his communications. You three go in, just knock on the front door, um, and calmly explain to him what's going to happen. Going to arrest and, him. Going to shut and down you two company. are there in case he tries to do something stupid. Um, but Pleasure. take him alive. Pleasure to work with the two of you. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, again, I'm insisting at least an hour or two before with that's that's like. We'll have to do in the morning. No, I mean, I'm no. Assuming now it's, this is the two. No, we'll have to do we the do raid this in the morning. Yeah, we're going to go to his house in the morning. Yeah. We can't just go right now. Yeah, we have to get the warrant ready. So, uh, so if you want to have a, if you want to have a little chat chat with him, yeah, which is which is like a chit chat but different. Yeah, so that's the plan, uh, and then we will two of us will go get tacos, take the IDS, and then have watchers on the other two sites. Uh, you're on requisition, Johnny Spec Ops. Those are the people you have to work with. Ooh, uh, so yeah, you, you can look at that. Uh, they all have names and stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Assets don't go with them if you guys go with them. If you want to have us make sand checks or something, if they don't. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so assets don't go with them. If you guys go with them, if you guys don't go with them, you all become the team. And all your relevant skills are... So, that? so assets go if we don't go? If you don't go. Uh, oh, yeah, because we can't do three shootouts at the same time. Yeah. Three action scenes. <laughs> So I say we focus on the mysterious ranch house because that's where the creepy shit's going to be. Plus, even if they get their ass kicked at the dirt track, it's a bottleneck, so all we have to do is keep them from escaping. Uh, and then we can, you know, pour napalm down. I don't know. So we might have, like, a bolt hole somewhere underneath it that comes out in a spot we don't know. Well, that's what satellite photo... Yeah, they make... You have right? satellite domestic photos. You don't have, like... Spec Ops. <laughs> you, yeah, you don't, you don't have, have Spec like Ops UV, Ninja stuff. They're not retasking stuff. satellites for you. <laughs> <laughs> they, might, they might have a bowl hole. So yeah. Something is, that just true. happens to be floating over us. Well, good. what do you guys think we should hit? I mean, I think we should all hit it at the same time because to concentrate our numbers, or do you want to split up? Well, if we can get the private contractors behind us, <clears throat> then we can just... Well, not behind it. us, but out of the way. Well, I mean, it, if Scooby-Doo yeah. taught me anything, when you're, when you're investigating something creepy, don't split up. Okay. <laughs> so we hit one of the sites. Uh, we neutralize it. Put all of our hopes behind the stoner and the dog. By the way, well, we don't really. Have... Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? I was running out of ideas. One of Twelve is a lot of things to come up with. Yeah, They're uh, random name generators. <laughs> no, well, one of the. Uh, shall I tell them? No, I'm not. We'll say wait for the moment. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, who is going? Uh, so those three are going to go. We'll be waiting nearby in a car. Okay. We're going to uh, Marion's house. Yes. Oh. All right. 
But that's tomorrow. All right, so, so you arrive at a McMansion outside of... Well, oh, wait, outside wait, wait. Of wanted to do the uh, therapy thing with him. Is, okay, good, is, good for that. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. He is nuts. He needs something. All, All right. Nuts. All right, so let's roleplay this shit out. <laughs> oh, All right, fine. I will keep that. <laughs> so, so Agent Kellogg, hi. How have you been feeling that since you're... Dom. Don't call me Aiden. We're going on... We're going to a... I said Agent. Uh, sorry. I misheard. <laughs> so, I understand um, you've been having some issues since the incident. That's like incidents. No, no issues. So you've had no issues with the death. That's like that's like the obvious death of one of your. That's like your partners as well as the disappear mysterious disappearance of another. It's all part of a all part of what we're doing. I seem to have been replaced pretty quickly. It's no skin off the agency's back. Well, it's not really. That's like it's just an issue of practicality, and I have also. I will be completely honest. I have been tasked with, well, getting you back on task. Me, as well as the other members of Team Masticate. Taking a look at Provost recently. So I have. Pathological and... distrust of authority. <laughs> Tendency to shift blame. So. <laughs> so. Well, yeah, because I'm dealing with official defiance over here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, how do you? That's like, do you feel that you are capable enough to get in here? Because, well, no offense, uh, you have had some issues since then with uh, a little bit of dissociative disorder. I don't know a thing about what you're talking about. You're not here. <laughs> get up, you. <laughs> uh, it, it, it'll be fine. I'll be fine. I think I've collected myself enough to to get this done to the point it's where fine. I, the, the, it's fine. the point where something goes down. Aiden's not going to show up. He's dead. Aiden, Aiden's fine. He's not. I'm not. I'm good. Because I'll also be honest with you as well. I'm not. That's like I'm not crazy about sending any of you into the field. <laughs> and I just, it's not your that's like it's under under the patch. But I went. That's like. But I'll do at least my damnedest to try to keep you alive as, as same as I can. Stand in front of him. Take this book. Got a hell of a job that's ahead not of you. This <laughs> you have one hell of a job ahead of you. That's what I've been that's told. A good idea. Uh, can I roll? Bullets. Can I roll any psychotherapy to help with this sanity? Or <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Very low sand. Twenty-four. Add seventy. So. Uh huh. It was almost twenty-two though. <laughs> so what's that do for me? <laughs> Yeah. One back. One. Yes. You guys are really hungry. Yeah. Uh, you haven't been able to eat like, enough at all since you got hospital out of food. Just isn't satisfying at all. I know, right? That must um, be it. Uh, no, that's. <laughs> I'm going to say this right now. My character survives. I know what he's going to do. Do not <laughs> let him try find a way to reverse the curse. Is study the natural. Or any of the others. That's like push. Never up's fine. I don't, know. I, have to I don't know about those other two. They seem. Off. There they are. I had I had I had guessed as much. Provost is uh, dependable, but kind of a dick. We're both a little gone. <laughs> so Bartleby begins. <laughs> <laughs> Provost is being a lot better than Pro, uh, Bartleby. Like he didn't even kill that. That's head. why I said Kemp Bartleby Rob begins. Is fine. <laughs> uh, you can Kemp Rob is fine. <laughs> Specs for the teammates you have before you equip them. Um, all right, so these three. Yeah, team right side of the table. All right, team right side of the table. Yes, all assemble. Right. You arrive at a McMansion on the outskirts of Denver. Okay. Uh, it is very early in the morning. Uh, there are still sprinklers going off on the lawn. Uh, who is each approaching one, the door? Each one sounded like a gun going. Off. Uh, we're, we're dressed like suitably suits, you know, nice clothing. Oh, we uh, are. I, yes. My character usually is wearing a suit, so... All right, well, uh, I suppose Jimenez and I, I introduce myself briefly, shake hands, etc., etc., yeah. uh, we'll walk up to the door, or the gate, if there's some sort of... No, there's a door. Okay. You all right? You look injured. I'm fine. I'm just, uh, took a bullet. I'll be fine. For me. Senior yeah, Moore is already the Anybody who's not going on the okay. raise can start going through fire. Yes, okay. <laughs> yes, we have. I'm, I we could all approach. I keep I keep a safe eye on him, in case he makes a dumb move. Okay, all right, let's all go. But he ahead. doesn't strike me as a dumb person. All right, so four men walk up to the four, three, three. Oh, just just that's right. Okay, okay. That was David. Right, so, yeah, yeah. David's in the center of the room. Oh, oh okay. yes. sorry. Yeah. Um, so a little more towards that side. So uh, you arrive. Uh, who knocks? 
I will talker. Knock. I have our talker. I will knock. Uh, a very uh, bleach blonde, too much work, spray tanned, uh, trying to look 20 years younger than she should be woman in uh, spandex workout pants comes to the door. <laughs> uh, she opens it up with a chain. Hello? Can uh, you accept the word of the Lord? Hello, is this um, the Torg residence? Yes, how may I help you? Uh, hi, we're, we're here to speak with uh, Marion Torg. Are you his um, significant other? Uh, it, do you have a warrant? We do. Can I see it? I do. I show it. Uh, she takes it, she closes the door. We've t- cut down all comms, by the way. <laughs> yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's a, f- a few minutes. Okay. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, so you want me, want me We should around? have introduced ourselves and let her use those names. Right. You want me to go around and watch the back? Uh, no, that'd be suspicious. Actually, we're parked around the back, look, reading the files. Uh, I can't say that. Yeah. yeah. What's his last name? Mercer? More. 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 Right. More uh, right now, we're just trying to be personable. I see. I will make, I'll do my best. <clears throat> I forget what alias he used earlier, though. We're going to probably have to use the... Oh, oh, let's just assume we're using the way she's ourselves to. Actually, you could kick the door down. But, uh, uh, I should point out, yes, yes, I will make myself look more presentable. <laughs> Face. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, a man comes out in a robe. Uh, he opens the door, comes out. He's like, you two! Hold on. <laughs> Fucking feds. I never would have caught it. You guys are good. Thank you, sir. What do you think you got on old tour? <laughs> Okay, I like this guy. I really like this guy. I really don't want him to die. Uh, Mr. Torg, we have uh, reason to believe that some friends that you've made are not a... They don't carry themselves in the highest of standings. And we realize that you, as a patriot, may not necessarily have known this. Talking about the Hmong boys? Yes. No, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I know they're people, but I mean, <laughs> Patriot Act, really? And that seems a bit of a stretch for me. It, it goes deep. It goes quite <laughs> deep. There's many layers. Deep. Well, look, you want to raid, you raid your asses off. I did nothing but background checks. They qualified at the range. All my gear is on spec. I am oh, of course. fit down to the ground. I'm a detail man. Of course. I bet you are. I bet you are. Uh, you wouldn't have any, uh... It's rather hot out here. Where are we? Out in Colorado. Colorado? Colorado? Okay. It's not hot. No. No. <laughs> I was thinking desert for some reason. No. Uh, that was the last time. Yeah. We're rather parched. It's been a while since... It's been a while since you were... <laughs> we're rather parched. Would it be hard if we had a, something to drink? We've uh, had a quite a long day, as you understand. My boys are home. They're watching cartoons. I don't want to... Uh, understandable. understandable. Don't want to we do have a great deal more to tell you. It's, uh... Well, tell me out here. In your robe? I've done worse wearing less. Mm. Like, get to it. <laughs> at that point, you, at that point, <laughs> dude, at that point, you know, I'm like, yeah, that's totally fair. <laughs> well, Mr. Torg, I hope you understand, but right now we're being... <sighs> personable. Things can get less personable, and we'd really like to, you know... Keep up relations with you, as it were. Yes, we would. Look, you don't go from being in the armed forces, Marines, by the way, 20 years, Wonderful. to operating this kind of operation without without knowing how things are done. So you got your Patriot Act. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand. It's magic. You want to rendition my boys? They're gone. You want to rendition me, a two-decade gunnery sergeant, two-purple-heart-decorated veteran, I don't think you got the stones for it, son. So I'm going to tell you, you go ahead and give it a shot. I know too many people. My, you're not going to rendition my kids. Somebody's going to talk. It's going to get ugly for you. But I don't want that. I want cropper. You got something legit, that's fine. But here's the deal. You're going to take... You're looking at my boys, right? My homong boys? Yes. You're going to take five men off my crew. Lickety split. That's a lot of manpower lost. Now, see, if we could arrange something like, say, a uh, federal source, maybe I could help you out and be compensated for my cooperation, then we could maybe talk a little bit more. Otherwise, i got to make it difficult on you, son. We have very little time to act, so we can... It don't take long to write a check, son. 
So that's basically it. He wants you to pay him. Yeah. He wants to be on a federal source list, therefore federally protected from future crimes, because he's not an idiot. Uh, but you give him money, he'll sell him down the river in a heartbeat. Do we? I, I would imagine yeah, the program would gladly write a check to get some chokes. Someone's on... gonna have to make a bureaucracy roll for that. Who's got a high bureaucracy? Sixty. <laughs> Forty. That's all I got. So. Sixty. Go for it, Aiden. All right. Ooh. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, st- nice. Jesus, are you helping or hurting? I'm not saying that. <laughs> all right. Well, I believe we may be able to. I believe we may be able to arrange payment. I understand that losing that many men could cause you quite a bit of trouble. Uh, and of course, no one likes houses cause, in their jobs. Yeah, sir. We wouldn't yeah. want to cause trouble for someone such as you, who is loyal to their country. I understand. You got to go call your boss. See yeah. if daddy's okay with you spending the night. I understand. Yeah. I haven't had my coffee yet, so you kick my door in. We're done talking. But when you're ready, you go ahead and give me another rock. I'll come out after I got my cup of joe. Boom. I, I distinctly like that. <laughs> well then, Alex, since you like him so much, why don't you stick around and keep an eye on the house and make sure he doesn't get anywhere? You have a cell phone. You need to call Pizzarelli. Oh, yeah. I, uh, poor, poor Pizzarelli. Oh, Pizzarelli's still here. I've missed Honestly, that guy. Honestly, that should be like, oh, you just want money. You don't need, like, quick lime and a shovel <laughs> yeah, I, I, or a backhoe or anything. <laughs> like, Stop with the backhoe. Actually, all you, want, like, what, you, want, well, you want two dozen pigs? Yeah. To, uh, I, but in order to give him that money, you're going to have to give him a letter of federal immunity from prosecution, <clears throat> which is problematic. <laughs> Well, he's not going to check it out. Program right once Joe shows is what it takes to get Joe shows. <laughs> I, I step away from the porch just in case they've got like intercom system or whatever, yeah. uh, far enough away that they wouldn't be able to hear me, and dial up good old Pizzarelli. All right. Uh, hello. See, see that breakdown go a little bit further. Pizzarelli. Oh, Dom, how are you doing? <laughs> Awful, horrible coffee. I don't know why anybody asks that question. How are you? Uh, about to be worse, I imagine. What's up? Well, uh, we've got a man who wants something. We're on the job. He wants money, as is usual. And also, uh, uh, <laughs> well, he wants uh, federal immunity for prosecution for... You know, what those creatures are meant to You know. For everything, or does he want a snitch jacket? I'm not sure. Okay, It's a federal source. It's a yeah, he wants a snitch jacket. Want, okay, yeah. Snitch jacket. He's not a diplomat. Right. Like, maybe his wife will hear. So he can't, like... Murder someone in a lot and get away with it, but he could sell a shit ton of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> <Fine. Okay. laughs> oh, Program says they want chochos, we'll give them chochos. <laughs> but this is what we have to get yeah. to get. All right, roll for it. All right, bureaucracy? Yep. I already did. Oh, I already did. did. It was oh, 43. Oh, yeah. yeah. All, right, it's like, all right. All right. Yeah, just, just get it done. All right. Just get it done. Good to talk to you. Gotta get out of here. Really? Fucking different. <laughs> I have to get out of this town. While that's going on, we are going to... I'm engaging in some indirect manipulation. We are standing in front of the door still. Okay. We're going to have a... Not loud, but audible conversation. Okay. About how concerned we are because... You like this guy. Torg is a good man. <laughs> and we don't want to see what's going to happen to him that they're already planning. <laughs> the church is already planning against him. All right. So. Uh, do you want me to roll? What, my, actually, my what's your luck? My luck. Power power like power, your power times. Five. Yeah, you power roll up. Fifty. <laughs> you want to roll? Yeah, I have extra dice. Oh yeah, you oh, yeah, dice. Yellow. Fifty-seven. Fuck. I mean, it's a great conversation. Had anyone been listening, <laughs> it, uh, it would have really helped. You, you gotta try. Him. You gotta try. But right. he, he <laughs> initiative. He knows his shit, yeah. and he's literally going to go get coffee. <laughs> uh, Maybe the last cup I get this morning. <laughs> yeah. Damn kids with their Saturday morning cartoons, which are actually DVR from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Is Saturday morning cartoons don't exist anymore? Uh, no. Right. He makes oh. them watch them on Saturday. As God intended. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Wait, Box your X station or whatever. Like, I'm a <laughs> secret nerd. <laughs> Is that his secret? He is so goddamn American. Uh, all right, so uh, all right, kids, you knock on the door again, I guess. Time. I all step right. back up. And he comes out. He has coffee. Between, uh, step between Ramirez and more. Well, uh, Torg, looks like you're going to get what you want. So long as we get what we want. All right. Well, you know my office. I'm going to have to see some paperwork. Of course. But well, what do you want me to do? Well, what exactly do we want? We want all the Chochos working for his company in that, like, 
gift wrapped, you know. Okay. So like, I, that's a good ideally, phrase. how about put them in a truck, tell them to go to some place, yeah. and we're it's and, a and, and, and we're gonna be there. Yeah, and you know, we just Wait, it's a duck shoot, you know. Yeah. We get them somewhere private and alone. All right, and he can talk to. Well, Mister Torg, we'd Park. like it if you sent all of your uh, all the boys working for you. Put them in a truck, maybe tell them they've got a job you need them to do, and uh, send them off somewhere discreet. On the lonesome road. Lonesome road. No, 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 like indoors. Oh, yeah. Oh. Just box them in so that they okay, yeah, yeah. like an alley or something like, an, like that. Yeah, down a nice, narrow Or is there a warehouse alley. we can send them to that would be? Yeah. All right, I can do that for y'all, but... Yeah. <sighs> Look, we... It's a company, it's an insurance thing. We don't send them out on the job unless mm. they're out on the job. Mm. So, I can send them anywhere you want, but if they're rolling on company time, they're rolling in TAC vests, they're rolling in night vision goggles, they got flashbangs, we got M4s, we got strikers, we got M203s, uh, is there MP5s, they're somewhere... going to be ready for whatever the fuck you have. Is there perhaps somewhere they meet oh, wait, to yeah. suit up? Do they do they arrive ready to go? Do my office is? Fuck if I'm going to let you invade my goddamn place of business. You ain't paying me enough for that shit. I, I don't need a federal raid on my goddamn property. I Mr. Torg, I wasn't assuming that they met at your offices. I thought, being a shrewd man, you would Do you have maybe have them meet you somewhere else. I got what they put on their forms. That's but if you guys are interested, I'm going to go in and guess that that's not accurate. Did I come over for dinner? Fuck no. Chico files his goddamn teeth down. I communicate with those motherfuckers by email. <laughs> I do not talk to them. They are scary. <laughs> well, Mark has a fair point. Mr. Uh, well, you have military science. You could make a roll to figure it out. Figure some uh, uh, tactical, tactical solution. solution. Mm-hmm. Okay, like, so I'm kind of, conf- I am confused. Of course not. Ninety-eight. Happen. <laughs> 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 uh, Look at the sun. <laughs> like, wait, I shouldn't stare at it that long. <laughs> so there we go. Well, I mean, if they're in a box in an alley, it doesn't matter if they're in tack vests. Well, uh, if, if, are we looking to gun them down? You know, to yeah. Kill them or capture them? Actually, no, kill them. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, well to capture them, we can execute them later. So, like, Mr. Torres, I'll see my it'll be fun. They'll be or, on the job, and well. We'll, we'll figure something out. Just send them somewhere for us. Get all your sardines in a can, and we'll go. What, what do I tell them? Why are they going there? <clears throat> I don't know. What do you usually tell them when you send them out on a job? Well, if you have I a tell them they're going to go get money, or they're going to go get weed. And we only work for one company, so they're going to the money place or the weed place. Is there perhaps somewhere on the route that fits my description? Narrow alley, easy... Easy access one way. Well, I mean, that grow house is a goddamn viper's nest. There's one spiral staircase down into it. I don't know why the fuck they did it that way, um, but... Well, actually, uh, do we, we do we have the schedule of the uh, <coughs> deliveries and us like... No, we, yeah, we, do, we have all that. Yeah, we can just uh, we can just align it up with a schedule. So you schedule. know this. Yeah. You know the Hamon group goes to the grow house. They yeah. pick up the weed. They make an unscheduled stop at the ranch from the grow house... Then they drop the weed off everywhere, and then they go home. You know, the non Hmong fire team does the reverse. They get all of the money from the dispensaries, they make an unscheduled stop at the ranch, and then they drop everything off at the grow house. Uh, I mean, we could if we could use this office, we could just fill, like, the HVAC with knockout gas or something and just, you know... Uh, Where exactly do they drop off the weed? They drop the weed off at the dispensaries. Okay. So dispensaries might be... No, that'll turn into a shootout. Does he know about the, uh... Does he know about the unscheduled stop at the ranch? Nope. Oh, wait, you know what we could do? Uh... Tell him about the unscheduled stop at the ranch? No, no, no. no. <laughs> if we know the route, uh, we could put a traffic detour up ahead... So they have to go someplace else. Mm. They'll radio in. He'll tell them, to, or he'll tell them where to go. Like there's traffic. Oh wait, no. Like here's how it go. Marion tells them, oh, there's traffic on this road, or there's construction on this road. Take this route instead. It goes to a detour. We blockade them, um, and then we set the get something to to lock them in the car. Uh, put chains around the doors. And then Keep we just out. Uh, pour gas on it and set it on uh, fire. Most of those uh, roast them from the inside. You know out. that most of those trucks have like little ports for firing out of. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, but they're uh, not going to be on the roof. They're going to be from side to side. 
Okay, just making sure you know. Yeah, because uh, if we can get them in a narrow alley or something like that, where it, and then we're and on you, the roof I, if above. If you set them. me up, if you set me up with a rifle, I could sh I could shoot anything that tries to shoot out of those little ports. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, mm. so Marion tells him that there's a detour because of construction on yeah, the yeah. road. The construction leads him into right. a blind alley. The blind alley uh, turns into a kill box where we. Uh, Set the truck on fire, essentially. Uh, right. That sounds good. Let's do that. Like uh, thermite grenades on the roof, uh, and shoot anything that comes out. Like we'll be on the rooftops, All right. and just well, Torg, give them. Okay, the that's military science. Where are you gonna set that up at? Yeah, try again. Do it. Wow. Crit that... fail. You got it. Oh, it's God. set. Does up. anyone else have military science? <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. It's, it's set up this. and it's perfect. Okay. All right, so, uh, <laughs> Mr. Torg, I think. Well, this has been a good campaign, guys. <laughs> Mr. Torg, Note that the therapist believe, uh, will not be around. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we should all be. Yeah, here. it's a team, we're a team yeah. effort. Yeah, welcome to the team. You don't, you don't get to stay behind in the clubhouse, man. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Torg, well, I isn't that right, Mr. Camera? Why don't we, uh, we'll set up some sort of traffic detour. Uh, you, I don't know what protocol is, but. Doctor. I'm yeah. sure that if, you know, something's. Not as it always is. They'll call in. You tell them an alternate route, uh, and then we'll find them on that alternate route. What's your military route. science at time? Sixty-one. Jesus. All right. All right. Uh, so yeah, he will do that. Great. Uh, he will misdirect them uh, along with the cooperation of the Colorado State Patrol. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you've got that. So you've got a way to put the uh, location where you're. At. And by the way, where would you set the location? I think they say like some uh, some alley, narrow. Okay. So that they can, where like the, you know, preferably we can block it off on both. In ends. Denver or where you want it at? Want it somewhere outside the city? Outside the city. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so a town in between yeah. dispensary shops. Yeah, we're on the uh, possibly tops. Greeley. Yeah. Uh, so I uh, yeah so Greeley, which is closest to their bike place. So yeah. You got the alley in Greeley. You've got the dirt bike slash grow house. Uh, and then you've got the rants. You have basically three fire ter fire teams worth of people. Uh, so you've got the two SWAT teams that you've commissioned, and you've got yourself. Now you can split those fire teams up and have some NPCs with everybody, or you could have an NPC team and then hope the other team does okay. But how are you delineating work? Also, um, when are you going to hit them? Like what time? Uh, and so. where is Chi Ben? Uh, the CEO. Yeah, where has she been? Well, we okay. haven't got eyes on her at all. Yeah, no one's done any surveillance of the place other than the sky. Uh, uh, so, well, we'll put use the NPCs because none of them have been seen by anybody so far. I mean, we've been seen by like that one guy at the RFID place. He hasn't. Yeah. Uh, who has? Oh, yeah, Dom In, hasn't. Yeah. Dom. Well, he's too valuable. Uh, <laughs> he's got to eat. <clears throat> so yeah, quite hungry. So we'll spend a day to. Um, Put both um, places under surveillance: the dirt bike path and the um, ranch. Well, and where do we think we're going to see the most resistance, and where do we think which of these do we want the, to succeed the most? And the ranch. That, the ranch is, is probably it. That's uh, where Uncle Tiberius is. I was going to ask a quick simple question. Okay, since I don't know the system that well, uh, like for a streetwise kind of check, I would use um, where is it? Hold on, criminology, right? Yeah. So I could possibly. Get some word on Chi Bin, her habits, where she shows up, when she shows up. You already know that she regularly solicits prostitution, but prostitution, but has never been convicted. <clears throat> we know that. Is there anything else I could possibly get? Uh, criminology, you could find the prostitutes that she solicits. Well, let's do that. And I can ask them questions. Find out what her type is. So. Um, and then maybe we could, I don't know, run a sting. We'll just throw his character in a hot pants and you'll. <laughs> Me? <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't seen you yet. All right. Yeah. Um, Criminology is at 70, yellow, 29. Do you want to have a Uh, I'm okay. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> what's the name of your contact in the prostitution? Sparkles. No. I'm not sure yet. Sprinkles. Uh, Johnny the Shoeshine Guy? <laughs> sparkles is fine. Uh, so... What about Sparkles? <laughs> So, uh, Sparkles is uh, the nickname of a grody DJ at a local uh, strip joint. <laughs> hey, guys! Uh, he knows the score. Uh, so, you, you know him through your contacts uh, formally. Just walk up. So, you're uh, with him, right? I guess so. Sure. Sparkles, que paso? Uh, all right, 
right, so roll luck. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> Just him? Just him. <sighs> Black. 53. <laughs> so you're not lucky? Not no, lucky. I am not lucky. Uh, who the fuck are you? You don't remember. Uh, you've never met him with that luck. You okay, know so he okay. is a guy. Okay. <clears throat> With your luck roll, you're that guy. Holy fuck, yes. What would you want? Please go away. <laughs> Don't hurt me. Uh, <sighs> oh, to try to... Okay, so does he have any recognition whatsoever? I have... He knows the group you worked for. Okay. He does not know you. I want to make this as quick as possible. I need some information. Yeah? Well, I understand a number of prostitutes have been solicited by somebody who doesn't seem to get in trouble for it lately. That shit costs money, man. What? Oh, so you a cop? You gotta tell me if you're a cop. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, RPPR bingo. You're welcome. Personally, no. <laughs> so he is. Sorry, I know. What are you asking? I'll are pay, you a cop? Are you, are you, you gotta tell him. Yeah, pay attention cop. to the scene. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. you're in the scene. No, I am not a cop. <laughs> we're, we're not actually cops. I will, so what I will the fuck you on? on? We're just look, we're just looking for this individual who solicited many prostitutes. Maybe some of the prostitutes that she got busted with, or maybe the ones that she hasn't been busted with. Uh, lady trick? She been. <sighs> Shit, man. I mean, there's a lot of them out there. It's it's more than you'd think. Does she have a type? Uh, well, I mean, there's. I mean, who is she? It's it's gonna be a lot of legwork. It's gonna take a lot of work to figure it out. Grease the ball. Grease the ball. Make it rain. Did but... somebody give me money? Oh, I got some. Okay. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. <laughs> or is it just a that knife that luck. cost money? That should be a luck check. How about Why I owe you money? a favor? Is that a luck check? You can persuade him That's in what other saying. ways. He is, is smoking it? behind a strip club. It's not exactly surveillance oh, town. Oh, so I can turn on the menace. Yes. Yeah. I'll pay you and steal. I do. My arms are always full. Okay. <laughs> Slowly walk up, lean very close, tiny little smile, still not blinking. <laughs> Persuade. He's going into work mode here. Yeah. 37. I want to establish myself as his sole hope of survival at this moment. <laughs> okay. I'm not... It's kind of like an abusive relationship when you do this kind of thing. You make sure that you are the sole tormentor. And hope. You don't, you don't have to describe it. Okay, uh, I'm just so, saying. So, uh, Klaus leans over and whispers in his ear. I, do, I know what this You see knows. his ass turn white. Yeah, I, uh, I approve. He's like, oh, okay, look. Uh, she's like Vietnamese or fucking something. I don't know. She's got no, she's got no tight. Uh, she goes, uh, she goes, uh, uh like, man, boy, in between the, the girls. It doesn't matter. She'll pick whatever's off the side. Um, it's usually like two or three times a week. Uh, I mean, uh, a couple times she'll, like, just sit there in the car with them and pay for their time. Then she'll take them home once, and they'll just, like, watch TV, and, and that's it. Like, they don't, they don't do anything. She's, like, weird. She's a fucking talker. Do you make arrangements for her? N- no, man. She, I just know, like, where she, the corner she hangs out with. It's just real irregular. She just she's like three or four times a week legit. You could just take her if she just pops by the corner. Of course, that's gonna get things like that'll be a little more. Hell out of place. Right? Okay, so we just gonna, I'm just trying to try to get to lo- as much information about like location, anything else. And we also know look. I don't know. She's fucking creepy. She goes to this nice flat. Uh, all the girls and guys that have been there go there. I mean, I haven't. I mean, I've seen a couple of them. I've only met a couple of them that've been there. But they say it's like really nice. Other times she just drives around the block with them for a couple times and then they don't do anything. And like the fucking whores, so like they're not gonna get like they're not shy. They just don't do anything. That's the weird thing. And and that's it. I only know a couple of them. Most of her regulars aren't around anymore. So where's the flat? Uh, I don't know. You'd have to ask them, man. They just wow, they man. just talk about it because it's fucking weird. I don't, they're on the corner. Where the fuck do you think they are? Which all right. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting the exact no, yo, he tells you the exact okay. location. He's like, look, man, I don't know how much they know. They're relatively new. Her, her regulars aren't around anymore. I don't know. Pat him on the cheek a couple times and say, keep quiet. <laughs> yeah, we'll man, be, yeah. We'll be in touch. Oh. Stare like real... You I just let me know what you like, need. Yeah. Sparkles is here for you. Exactly. <laughs> Good. You really, you really don't want us to come back. 
I, I don't. <laughs> I do not want you to come back. I turn abruptly and just start walking out. All right. Mm-hmm. And then throw a knife into the side <laughs> window. Why, why would I have one of those? <laughs> why are you not covered in them? <laughs> Because you're, 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 not, you're not that guy from the Desperados. Well, if we can get the Except CEO the late night. at night, then the people won't be alerted. Well, you can roll criminology. Yeah. Okay, criminology, so roll again. Or... Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yellow, 36 out of 70. So, it's two or three times a week. He's pretty insistent about that. But nobody really knows what her flat looks like. There's a couple people because all of her regulars aren't gone. Why aren't his regular there? Uh, you realize that if you were going to kidnap hookers on the regular, you would want to get hookers on the regular. You also realize that'd be a great way to not get captured by the cops when you pick up undercover narcs and just pay them to drive around the block with you, which is totally legal. So uh, you realize that if she is doing something skeevy, she's probably doing it on the reg to make it look like she's doing not doing something more skeevy. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yes. that was my opinion. Like, yeah. if I was going to sacrifice prostitutes on a regular basis, <laughs> I would so, not want to alert the pro- other prostitutes. Like, every time that guy comes by, uh, some come back. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, the flat's probably a dead end. But well, she's gonna, right. if she goes by, we could grab her because right. Right. she's by herself. It sounds like. So, so we're uh, gonna. So with doing? your criminology roll, you realize you could either. Be a no-brainer. Whoever was undercover could just be a uh, gift from the sky. Oh, I'm new in town. So I have no cell phones. I'm can, a virgin. Who David, can, uh, get in the hot pants. I was gonna say my, who, ki- so my parents were born in a commune, and I have no social security <laughs> number. Who can, who can pull? Sure, this off? I'll drink that. Uh, like Who's that kind of shit. Like, or you could. Um, <laughs> or you could try and just use it to kind of pin her down and kind of arrest her separately <clears throat> without split your manpower. Without having to split her manpower. Well, okay, yeah, the way I see it, like... If you get someone that's a no-brainer, she's probably going to take you back to one of the other two completely locked-down locations. Right. They're probably not going to do that in a flat. Um, so that would not split your manpower, but that person would be at risk. Yeah. Uh, or you could split your manpower and just try and shut her down separate, but that's a fourth front. And in addition to that, if we shut her down, I'm assuming that as she's the leader of some whatever this is, there's a schedule. Even if she goes off the grid for a certain period of time, she likely has a callback or something. Yeah, but if she picks somebody up that night and then we launch the raid the next morning, right? there would be, like, not maybe they wouldn't necessarily suspect it right away, uh, but that's really good timing yeah. on our part, you yeah. know? Um, it's risky. Yeah, either way, it's risky. Um, yeah, I don't think, unless we want to send one of the NPCs in to be the bait, uh, <laughs> which so I'm totally fine with. Oh. Select your sacrifice. Excellent, sadly. Yeah, in Team Coyote. Or, yeah. So am I allowed to look at that list there? Yeah, those are the dossiers of the professional badasses okay. that you have to work with. Because... So uh, I'm, I'm thinking, I don't know what you're thinking, Ross, but uh, Gilbald. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you're thinking about. Yeah, Team here. Coyote, yeah, the first one, Team Coyote. Yeah. Uh, we could um, I don't think any of the PCs quite fit like because Tom we are all, like, 40 plus, I think. Yeah, we are all middle-aged men with scars. Well, and... no, I'm a 40-year-old woman, so. Oh, uh, yeah. And I might get recognized on the So you would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you were. If, if Alex like a, was dressed up, if as you a looked like a six-year-old woman, you'd look like you're at. Yeah, dress Alex like a, yeah, dress me like a prostitute. <laughs> yeah. I, I pass as well. Would you like? Uh, it is not gender specific. Yeah, yeah. she yeah, does on. not care. It's just <laughs> anybody. <laughs> who, yeah. Come on, Dark Young has got to be fat, man. <laughs> yeah. Can't ex- exactly go to PetSmart. I, 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 I would, <laughs> I'd be high persuade. I would volunteer for this one for the information, but I, I don't want. I, don't I want, would volunteer. Even. I don't want. <laughs> Thankfully, you're not my boss. <laughs> I know. But uh, I, don't, I don't want to harbor out on this one. So. Um, yeah, why don't we do that? That means well, okay. we put a tracking device on her. Uh, um, so we know it on the... on the, Gilball. Yeah, Gilball. And she gets tagged. Uh, we know what location it is. We have a team following her. Yeah, we have a... Yeah, we have a wired up. Well, uh, <laughs> okay. I don't know. Just a wire. Technology's great and all, but it always seems to... Whatever skill check I would make you make, function. she will have it, but at 50. Okay. 
So it, it always seems to. I don't know. It seems. Like <laughs> well, worst case scenario, she she she'll just think we're she's an undercover cop. Look on a you know another uh, vice sting. You know. Yeah. Um, okay. She's not gonna think it's a you know a secret government. She won't know it's us. Yeah. Specifically. Yeah, right. 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 Okay. Yeah. So she won't have any idea of uh, Operation Lonesome John. So yeah, we not we. Unless uh, so, the plan is to send Gilbalt, follow Gilbalt back to one wherever, two, yeah. which should be one Probably, of the three places. One of the two, two, okay. the ranch or the grow house. Right. Okay. Because uh, the IDS is certainly not going to be cool with human sacrifice. It, totally yeah. not. Yeah. He won't even let us like <laughs> stage a raid at his place of business. What a lame! What an it's ridiculous! <laughs> I like this. I like this guy too. Yeah. Um. All right, so uh, in terms of plan, uh, we'll just have Team Wolf do the um, IDS uh, raid. But Alex, I, I think we should split it up first. I think Alex should lead that because it's his plan. Uh, yeah. So. Oh, wait, no one wants to come with me? Yeah. It's my plan that I totally succeeded at. <laughs> yeah. So you're doing IDS? Yeah. Yeah, with I think whom? so. Uh, some people from. So here's yeah, what I'm all, Are you all splitting up and going with different teams? I think we uh, should. Or <laughs> are you doing yeah. your own team and letting the other teams handle? Um, it? Which of these is going to be more like talky than shooty? Uh, none of them. You none are them. not at the talky phase. Great. Or wait. You got you you skipped past the talky phase in oh, yeah. convalescence, and you're at the shooty phase. Awesome. I'm in tip top shape for this. Um, We're at the whammy cup whammy phase. So, <laughs> or the Rudy Tootie aim and shoot. Ah, yes. Speaking of, um, do I need to take a look at him, make sure that he's medically fit? I'm not dead yet. <clears throat> he can point a gun. <laughs> Dude, David, he is I hungry. I feel happy. I feel happy. <laughs> yeah, he's eating a lot. I just can't can't seem to quench that hunger. Don't worry. Soon. <laughs> Soon. Huh. <laughs> Good. Good. That was. <laughs> uh, all right. So, let's see here. Human uh, forty-four. All right. Yeah. Let's figure out our assignment. So you go IDS. Um, Tom is IDS. Uh, well, then that means you have to go as well. Yeah, he has to be with me. Yeah. yeah. Why you are kind of he's my handler. You're joining oh, the Oh, okay. Can you give him a gun? <laughs> this time I will give him a gun. Yeah, make, armor, keep making maybe. good decisions. <laughs> armor, fruit vest. Bolt, yeah. oh, so armor, guns. All right. Um, maybe even a knife. Let's see here. Dom, uh, mm -hmm. there's That's the ranch, and then the grow house. Yeah, we're going to have one. should go to one of them, and then the other uh, person from... Uh, one of our orphans uh, should go to the other place. So I'm feeling the There should at least, at least be one person from uh, the orphanage from each at each of those two places. So, mm. uh, so you've gotten... Uh, that's a fun yeah. little thing. What is that your going? shooting skill? Like well, it doesn't matter. Okay. You just... I mean, again... Well, why don't I go with you? Because that way... Yeah, uh, he can shoot. You can shoot. I'm not so good. Okay. Okay. But I've got a shotgun. All right. So, sure. would you want to go to the ranch or the grow house? I'm feeling the ranch. The ranch. Okay. Uh, so right, I'll go to. Ranch. All right. Hidden so... Valley. Do, 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 sorry. That's not... <laughs> David. Like I want a diet salad dressing for 500. Uh, uh, so, uh, Dr. Cantrell, what about you? Um, come yes. with us. All no. your patients no, are I'm splitting up. <laughs> I'm not for the big on war zone, but uh, actually, should I keep eye I like on? Uh, we'll uh, are you strapped? Lots of uh, it's no. not your yes. <laughs> No, I have it. So I just stand feet body armor. So, so I'm going to the grow house. So yeah, you're the only one. Um, um, yeah, why don't you go uh, to the grow house with grow house? Uh, well, why don't you go to the grow house? Because that way, there's at least okay. two PCs. There's two PCs at each of the yeah. three locations. You're right. So. So that's kind of balanced. Yeah, so I'll go with uh, that. Way. That way you can keep an eye on Pro. Everything's okay now. Uh, uh, all right, so there's six <laughs> people, or there's 12 the people for each. The thought out is this. Um, I missed something. By the way, that's an average of four yes, people. Are. Yeah, we'll just put four okay. people on each one. Um, but hey, they get close enough to tear me to pieces. Let's see here. I'm just coming. Uh, except, and they're gonna eat. Actually, IDS, I'll put only three oh, people yeah. because it's an ambush. You guys will have the advantage of surprise. <laughs> uh, and we, we're down one person because uh, Gillibot is going to be bait. Uh, so, uh, let's see here. Wait, she's ending uh, You don't have your eight assets either since you guys are going. Uh, what asset? Oh, the ammo and stuff like that? Oh, so we're, we don't get... You're the DG friendlies if you're going with the team. Okay. 
Um, so we lose people if we don't. Uh, we lose NPCs if we if we go to a location. No, you gain one person because you're sending two NPCs. Okay. I, if you lose an asset, yeah, you can have the asset or however many oh, NPCs, okay, yes, however sorry, many sorry. PCs you want. If you're sending two to each people, you've gained people. Okay. Does that make sense? No. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> if they're right. people, like I, DG yeah. doesn't want a bunch of random people who have no idea what's fucking going on wandering yeah. around. So they're yeah. going to send someone DG. If you send no one, yeah, they're going to task some random friendly who has no fucking idea what's going on to be like. Hey, if they start gnashing their teeth and talking to dogs, just shoot them. Yeah. Um, so they're going to send those along. But if you guys are there, they're yeah. not going to bring more people in. Does okay. that make sense? Uh, yeah. Yes. But if you send two people, yeah. that's one more person you'd get if you both didn't go and they put in some random friend. Does okay. that make sense? Yes, sir. So, we're, so it's five. Yeah. Or 18, As part of your six, plan, okay. there's something I, I can't recall from the previous session. Have our characters been told much about the whole mission? I encountered some stuff on my last mission. Yeah, you, <laughs> more is familiar ish. So I'll make it sure. Uh, so. I have it. <laughs> You're fine. It's fine. <laughs> I figure you're gonna find out. Yeah, you're kind of going into the if it bleeds, we can kill it. Yeah, I kind of. I didn't look Again. at the rolls as much. I just tried to figure out numbers. Sorry. Um, so here's what I have. Uh, let's see. Three people going on the ambush. Already a team and assist from Team Wolf. Uh, then the fire for and so Fillmore and then Festus will be going to the grow house as well as Condit. Um, and then. Yeah, the bait is going wherever, and then the last three people are going to ranch. So, uh, okay, I'll try to post this to the comments or the show notes when we get to this. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's the tactical side of things. Are we going to get blowed up? <laughs> no, you're fine. If we're lucky. Okay. Well, given his I'll tactical action right now with with any Delta Green, or you could hey, be given my tactical. Are you a distant descendant of uh, yeah. General Custer? <laughs> <laughs> the minute the GM starts giving us everything we want, not. I think so. I was doom. just going to say the blowed up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But Can we get right, unblowed up? We're, we're pretty much doomed by this. Well, point. Uh, I don't want to stay blowed up. Well, humanity is doomed. Come on. Explode? I don't well, want to explode. While we're, while we're like, suiting up yeah, and getting into like, bulletproof vests, well, I, I, I tell yeah, Provost a, on the shoulder. Oh, King War for a. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You didn't stay blowed up. Hey. It wasn't blowed up at all. <laughs> to, to be blowed up means you are destroyed. <laughs> if a grenade bounces. It, it, so a tank is not blown up if a grenade goes off. So, uh, okay, so <laughs> Tomlinsonberg, Amagov, and Shannon are going to the ranch. Rollins, Astra, and Kelby are going to IDS Alley. And then uh, you've got three on the grow house. All right. Yeah, so three of each. All right, that's cool. So which three are we getting at the grow house? Do we have a... Uh... Well, uh, first off... Who's uh, who's given the assignment to Gilball? Probably Lydia. Yeah. And I. <laughs> uh, I'll give it yeah, to her. Okay. So, right. Not me. All right. Yeah, I, I'm going to be sitting. Right. Lydia, you handle. So you go into the office room that has been turned into a barrack slash uh, <laughs> armory. Uh, you know, you see guns everywhere, you people really milling about, them. smoking, <laughs> chewing. Uh, talking shit, playing cards. Vaping? Uh, yes. Yeah. Vaping. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, you see Gilball. Uh, she's small, kind of mousious, uh, blonde hair and a tight ponytail. Uh, you know, cleaning the gun. So, uh, Ian, uh, Gilball? Yes, sir. So, I'm, put out my hand, uh, special agent, uh, Cantrell. Uh, can I talk to you for a second? Yes. Uh, have you been fully briefed? Director on ma'am. False military would be, sir. So, but, so I, here, I'm here. Um, I will, uh, um, have you been briefed on the current situation on, and how we are we splitting the teams? Uh, not as of yet. Okay. Um, your other teammates will be taking the briefing shortly, but, um, we have determined that, uh, we are looking at a potential high-risk target. And we need you to, uh, like, need you to uh, act as bait for it. So, so. Okay. Uh, <laughs> how so? The CEO, which, uh, sorry, what was her name again? Chibin. 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 So, CEO of Transient Smoke, uh, Chibin. Uh, we believe Her to... Heart. Oh, it's like, 
either be uh, not to, uh, either involved with it. No, it's like how much do they know? I meant before I speak any further. They know there are people. They are bad. They should shoot them. Okay. So before or I give them information, uh, we believe she is the ringleader at, in turn uh, for everything, but she has been really? very hard to find. The only what? evidence what? that we've been able to find so far of her movements is that she uh, frequents a corner uh, to let, uh, where prostitutes and picks up prostitutes at random. Uh, there is uh, it's a strong possibility that some of the, the pe- men and women she is picking up are being killed. Uh, but it's being done in such a fashion where Seth, like, is not very obvious, and she's managed to cover her tracks. We need to put in a plant that can subdue her. So, and given your skill set and the fact that's like, and that's like your looks. Uh, we think you look like a whore. Nice. That's enough, Steve. We're gonna um, have to talk to HR. We figured this. that you would have the best chance of infiltrating and us like subduing her. Uh, I got this, Chief. Don't worry about it. Okay. Human? Can we watch? <laughs> uh, 20. Uh, yeah, she's into it. You were forthright. It's a dangerous job. So, she's the one for it. Um, she's ready to go. Okay, uh, you will have full backup. Well, sorry, you, well, sorry, you won't have backup. You're on your own, so. <laughs> <laughs> so she won't have any backup. Well, I was. Uh, do we have backup for her? Like on, once from she the other gets team? to a place. Okay, so I'm not going with you. I'm just going to be on... Uh, am I going to be on hooker watch? So. Uh, I don't know. She's I, not a hooker. She's a specially trained spec ops. Well, I'm talking about you know, the operation. That's what I'm calling. I don't know. What do you want to do? <sighs> so, because I thought about backing her up before we did that, and then we can have somebody else go with Ross. Well, she... If things go right, she should be going to one of the two sites. Which have people there. Or no, will, unless her, there's some her being third site that she can kill someone quietly, That's which is what totally you totally not going to happen. No. Okay. All right, well, I'll give her the details. Oh, okay, in that case, I will give her the details of where, uh, where the three operations <laughs> theaters will be uh, happening. Mm-hmm. Um, that last like will be will be take, more than likely taking her to one of these, and that there will be backup available in the form of eight... It, it, one of the three teams of agents. So, um, if there's not, you're going to have to think you, for yourself. Good luck to you. If you have the opportunity to take her alive during that time, or if she poses a threat, try to take her alive. If not, you have authorization to take her out. She is the head. Uh, I understand. All right. No weapons except for what you so, can conceal. Uh, you can tap on your shoulder. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a uh, larger Latina woman. Uh, can I talk to you for a moment, Miss? So yes. Uh, so, uh, she asked to speak to you out in the hall. Are you good? I'm gonna get hit. Yes, so. Uh, alright, yeah. The fuck is this? This is the... That's... I like talk to you through corn, so. This is... This is setting an agent to a mission. Corn. Uh, this, this is the mission that we feel she's ready for. So how much training have you had in urban warfare? <laughs> so, Did you go to the farm? Where Where are you from? So, because uh, from what I can tell across Brown the University. table, you're some fucking punto who sits at a goddamn desk and doesn't know a fucking thing that goes out there, and you want to send my little girl out to die with no support and no backup. That's what I hear. You find the young girl, you find the bright eyes, and you go for it like every other fucking asshole in this goddamn organization. You're going to lay her out on a fucking string like a Are piece of meat. No, no, I just need the sheet of the... Well, uh, so Condit is the team. That means she's team leader. Thank you. She's not thrilled with you sending one of her uh, squad members off to die alone <laughs> in an undercover operation with no backup. It's not 100% sure. She'll die. <laughs> <laughs> She's a good 50. She'd be like Rachel Adams here during True Detective Season 2. She, you know, a total badass. Depending on how those dice land, yeah. Oh, yeah. God. <sighs> I would say it's a coin toss, but at this point, knowing Caleb's Agent dice... Common. How long have you been with the service of the company? Program. What's the program, sir? I asked you first. So, well, I'll be happy to answer your question for that uh, slash that, but beforehand, please tell me, how long have you been with the company? No. <laughs> you might have to roll sand if you do that again. She does not respond well to you asking her questions. Look, 
I'm a woman in a SWAT team. You think I think I'm going to get very fucking far here? You think I'm in this for career advancement? I don't give a fuck. I don't like the look of things. I walk. If it feels wrong, it is wrong. You can find somebody else to do it. I don't give a goddamn what you write in your little report at your little desk. My people don't go out without backup. Who is backing her up? Fine. I'll bet. Uh, it's like I will be your backup. <laughs> yeah, that's not good enough. So, you are going to be your backup. <laughs> so, despite the fact that I, uh, like, I am something of a pencil pusher for us, uh, like for the company, I have had experience in field training. Regardless, I can uh-huh. hold. I can hold myself and at least put him. Uh, it's like put myself in least position where she, that's like where Gilbert, who I will fully admit is far more trained in me in the ways of killing a person, will. That's mm-hmm. uh, like. Can take her chance. We're killing people now? This isn't an arrest? What the fuck is going on here? If she needs to defend herself. Alright, persuade her that you can back up. <laughs> Do it! Out of character, there is backup because she's going to be taking her to one or two occasions, each of which well, has a team on it. That's not necessarily. No, she's not convinced. <laughs> no. Alright, pack your shit! <laughs> We're getting out of here! Pack your shit. <laughs> Gilbot's picked up. Like, yeah. Get wrap it up. Uh, she shut it down. Unless you can send more backup. She doesn't trust you. She wants more people on her on her person. Uh, so I guess we rotation. all know about this now. Uh, well, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, there. <laughs> Breaking okay, well, shit down. Well, 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 I, I walk um, in, sort of see what's happening. <laughs> what's going on? You were there the whole time. Yeah. Oh, I was. Okay. Yeah, you were in the room. Oh. Oh, she was talking to her. Nice. Thanks for back. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. It was her <laughs> scare. Yeah. Uh, we're so, not going to intrude. And the rolls were yeah. shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well. Uh, so you know you're I mean, right. The thing is, you're absolutely right. Yeah. She is your girl. If you are. Absolutely clear on who needs to back her up. Who would you assign, or would you take that role yourself? I take all of us. It's a fire team. We go as a team. Problem is, we need to seize three locations. We could spare one person on Overwatch. Ideally, she is going to end up at one of the three locations. No, one of two. And the rest of, or yeah, one of two locations, and the rest of either team will be there. All right. I want him. <clears throat> Take him. Fucking American sniper Cholo over there. He's on her. It's in Chris Kyle after her ass. Okay. Otherwise, we walk. All right. Damn. All right. Uh, so uh, the IDS one is going to go really bad. <laughs> uh, so uh, adjust accordingly. We're probably going to be pulled off that nice. as well. Very good. Uh, uh, hey, I tried. I know you tried, and you failed. The important lesson is never try. So, <laughs> uh, thank you. Is, is is so, in the, um, are you are you in the room right okay, now? Okay, no, 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 I'm just I'm just trying to look at this. this otherwise, I'd like to get the same American background. sniper over here. I'm probably going to start a critical failure in Korea. We don't know about that yet. Because <laughs> oh shit, that we don't know about that. I'm going to be on. We don't. We think that he's in some very gentle words. Actually, they'll only be down one man if we just send NPCs to them because then the asset will go with them. So they'll have four people there instead of five. So, uh, well, no, it's really bad. Like, they're going to fucking get slaughtered. Uh, what, at the uh, IDS? Yeah, but... Well, so the leash is going with Alex Moore. Yeah, they have yeah. to. Yes. There's, so, there's no negotiating that. Yes. So they have to go... Actually, they have to be floating. They just have to follow her. Um, so they... Uh, Tom and, uh, sorry, uh, Klaus and Alex will have to follow. Can you Klaus up? Huh? Klaus doesn't have to go with Tom. Yes, I have, he has to be, I have, he has to stay with me. You're way off brief already. (laughs) Um, but if we just send the three NPCs in there, they will get the asset, right? So they'll be, they'll have four people. Yeah, they will have an asset. You can keep an eye on him. Uh, no, 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 no. You two follow, you two will be your backup. You'll just be floating and following her. So that's it. You just have your own car, and you'll be wired into her and back her up yeah, wherever. Yeah, drive skill. Uh, so it sucks, but I got one. <laughs> the then we'll just have those three NPCs, and um, 
the asset go with uh, for the IDS swap <laughs> thing? <laughs> Too bad we can't get both assets to go with them. You um, know, um, thought occurs to me. It says that Delta Green doesn't want to commit too much to the zombie. <laughs> They're the ones who are like, oh my god, Chochos, we gotta kill them. And like, well, you know. Alright. Yeah. If we lit, send those five Chochos on a wild goose chase instead, that means that they're not going to be at either so of the So who sites. in the terms of player character is going with IDS? No one. No one. No one. No one. Alright, so who in terms of non-player characters? Uh, I'm Ra- suggesting Rollins, Rollins, Astra... <laughs> Uh, Fillmore? let's see, Kelby, yeah, you're gonna and then me. the, I guess, London, the asset. <gasps> um, I was going to suggest no one. What? That's... Pull the IDS operation? Pull the IDS operation. You can't. Can you well, divert them? It, the diverting won't, la- won't last forever, and they will uh, basically... You can just wait till they go to the grow house. Yeah. And hit them with the grow house there. Yeah, because we want an extra five guys with machine guns there, with an armored vehicle. Yeah. Five guys with tactical vests, machine guns, and a and fucking the rest tank. of our strike team. Uh, yeah, again, five guys versus four guys, and also they can even up the what numbers a little. But the problem bit. is they know the grow house. They know all the that's like all. Uh, the, well, yeah. you're a tactical genius, Alex. Why don't you give us a military science roll to see what would be the better option? Tom. All right, uh, like, well, I, mean, I can give you a military science that I totally succeeded every well, time I've rolled. <laughs> oh yes, absolutely. Speaking. Okay, here we go again. We believe in you. Oh. I, do make it this time. <laughs> 49. You have their boss. Uh, go on a ride along. Their boss can make them do things. Be part of the group. Be in the car. Okay. Fuck things up once they get there, and then the operations go. You're talking about the IDS? Yeah. Poison pill them and take them to one of the other locations. But someone's got to go. Okay. Know, somebody's got to go undercover. Okay. So, yeah. Well, actually, both of them, then. Uh, so new plan, the Sicario and uh, the Spec Ops guy, Alex, um, <laughs> go to, uh, are the new recruits, and they get in can't. a truck. I can't. I can't. They're committed. What? To the Gibalt. It's a new plan. Lose? Look, okay. Like, like we're going to lose Gibalt regardless. Well, I think no, 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 this okay. new plan might have a different thing for Gilbalt. Yeah. 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 Okay, we can send in the NPCs in to be the undercover guys. Instead of sending Gilbalt to the thing. Mm-hmm. No, 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 we do that Gilbalt. Uh, okay, if Gilbalt goes to get uh, Chubin, those okay, two we're are just going to start over on planning. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> sorry. All right, no. I didn't mean All to right. complicate things. No, 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 no. I All right, so the, the new PC plan to be like, yes, I will be fed into that. No, that's fine. <laughs> right. uh, Gilbalt is still the bait. <laughs> the bait right. backup is Condit and um, one other person with her uh, from her team, so she trusts them. Um, her choice. Uh, she will take Thomas and Brad. Okay. So that's the... Yeah, that's the bait. Um, then these two are the poison pill inside the IDS truck with the, the chochos in it. Um, and Marion will fuck with their guns. Oh, he can fuck with their guns. He can pull the firing pins on them. Because that won't be noticed uh, if they're not fired. Okay. Uh, so where do you want them to take them? Um, let's take them to... They're going to hit the grow house first before they hit the ranch. So do you want them to hold out at the grow house? Or do you uh, want them to hold out at the ranch? The... Let's do the ranch. That's more important. Uh, They're going to have to be undercover longer then. Okay, well, yeah, yeah you're right. Uh, let's do the grow house because we don't know how long their cover will last. <laughs> um, they'll be the only two with real guns. Uh, Marion will pull the firing pins on the other firearms. All right. And what's your alarm? Because that shouldn't be noticed. Okay. I mean, well, firearms check. In close quarters, anyways. Uh, forty-two. No, I make it. Is that the best way to sabotage a gun with that? Down in close quarters. Uh, they're gonna inside. check that shit. Fuck with the oh, ammo. You know, okay. Chase. Fuck with the ammo. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> fuck with the ammo. Uh, so. So maybe give them one nice bullet and yeah. then a bullet that's not that's fucked nice. up. Well, or just blanks. They'll weigh this. Yeah. Thing. So, all right. So we give them blanks. No way to say. And they're not going to fire off rounds right before they go on a run. Uh, we're still and if they do, do, and if they do, it's probably going to be a drunken woo! Um, yeah, they'll inspect their weapons. They're less likely to inspect each round of ammunition. Yeah. We're still going to be in really close quarters with them, so... Well, this is your wheelhouse. This is literally the thing that your character okay, does. Okay, 70 on combat shoot. Who else is going to the grow house? 
All right, so we so are undercover. I'm gonna put one, them two, in three, a tiny four, little five. box. Five. <laughs> tiny Eight. little box. Six. We have six. six. Tiny Rick. <laughs> we have six NPCs <laughs> and four player characters. So the two player characters and three NPC or uh, per thing. So. Um, uh, um, I guess we would keep the same assignments in that case. Uh, Faust, and, or sorry, um, Dom, Dom, and Doctor Kamarov go to the ranch. Um, Doctor Cantrell and I go to the grow oh, house. Sounds like a movie. Um, and then we'll just go straight down the rows. Um, for the NPCs, the first three that are available go to the ranch. Uh, Rollins, Astro. And then the other two go to the grow house. Or, sorry, the, yeah. Uh, so Rollins, Astra, and Fillmore go to the ranch. And then Kelby, Festus, and um, Amagov go to uh, the grow house. Does that make sense? Mm hmm. So that's five people per thing. Well, that's okay, more at the new plan to my horrible botched science, you know, military science. Um, actually, as I'm thinking about this, so here's the thing. Prostitutes, not typically a daytime thing. Yeah. Big weed pickups, typically a daytime thing. Yeah. Um, so when do you want to do this? Do you want to try and get Chi the night before and ensure that she cannot communicate? Yes. Yes. Uh, all right. Well, then more all feasibly all yeah. of you could we be could there. Give, yeah. yeah, we could give her the backup she wanted. All right. Well, that's that's the plan in case it goes to yeah. the day. But um, in case every and well, if things go bad and she gets word out, then those are the teams that will split up to go to each of those locations. Okay. So like they, the Condit and Tomlinson Park will stay with uh, Gil, but at all regardless. Well, how about you send two at the ranch waiting in the night time. Okay. And then two on Chi Ben. If Chi Ben gets fucked, okay. they can go in the night. Okay. Otherwise, they shouldn't. Yeah. Uh, just So who's on the ranch then, PC-wise? Uh, ranch is going to be uh, Dr. Kamarov and Dom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got this. Real fast. Yeah. And that means you two are working... <laughs> the grow house. house. Yeah, yeah. You two are working Chi. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna go to the grow house. So you two need to enhance your chi. So don't fuck up. <laughs> wow. Just, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> they get their roles too. Like we have to make. We only have one role for everyone. Uh, uh, we'll just have to do it in there. Don't, don't All right. That was a penny move on there. Yeah, Doctor Cantrell. Uh, Gilbot's going in. Yeah. She's dressed in nines. Uh, are you in two cars or one car? Two cars. Two cars. Yeah. So uh, we all back mixing right now? PCs first. No. Uh, okay. So you guys are all at different locations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. So you two are fucking with ammo in the night mm -hmm. at well, well. Uh, the uh, basically the IDS. Um. Kelby Festus and Amagov are, you know, specked out in tack gear in a uh, SUV hidden in the wilderness around the dirt bike track. Uh, as, as the, you know, nightly yeah. uh, is ending. How'd that go? Uh, at, the, uh, at the rants, uh, Kamarov, Dom, and the uh, people are all sitting freezing in the cold in the woods. A click out away from where they're supposed to hit. Okay. So before we start this, what are you carrying? Uh, body armor. Uh, Alright, so write this on your character sheet so you know right, what it okay. is. So you no. got body armor. That's a uh, four point armor. Okay. Unless you're completely tack vested. Tack vested. Like, is there a penalty for tack vest? No, but there's no way you're hiding that you are ready for war. Like, okay. you can wear a jacket over a four point. If you want a five point, you are. Commando. Yeah. Uh, it depends on the location. If you guys are in the, you're woods. a cloaker at that point. Yeah. Uh, if you're in the woods, it like there's no night hiking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, night hiking without flashlights. Um, 
So I'm going to have body armor because I'm in the car. You know. You're playing a zombie. Right? Okay, so uh-huh. you have got, uh, that's four points. Yeah. Oh, that's four. Right. And then what weapon are you carrying? Well, obviously a pistol, so sidearm. Yeah. Uh, one that does a D12. <laughs> Damn, what right. is that, like, mobility? Yeah. So you have an M5. Well, both. Like, you can have a sidearm. Yeah, you can have both, but you don't want to walk around the street with the M4. Right, right. Well, yeah, in the car, but in case there's a shooting. You are in a shitty neighborhood. We're prostitutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you gotta have M4, that's a D12. Yeah. Uh, so four points by arm. Uh, so Dr. Cantrell, what are you rolling with? So, uh, four point oh, body, that's uh, like the same, uh, four point body armor as well. Okay. To keep uh, on there. Uh, so you'll be fine as long as you wear a jacket. And I'll do for D10 damage on there since I'm, that's probably. That's a pistol. This, yeah, I'll have a pistol and a backup 9 Pistols just in case. Well. Yeah. So, two pistols. Pistols a D10. No, they they can be D8, D10, or D12, depending on the caliber. So. So. I have an on regulation hand firearm. <laughs> so I will go ahead and have the D10 one just for the heavier yes. and then a 9. You carry a D10. You're not carrying a Deagle. <laughs> it could be a Magnum. It always comes sort. back to the Deagle. <laughs> hey, Deagles are awesome. The okay, walls yeah. are thin. Yeah. You are federal agents. <laughs> She's a psychologist. <laughs> And all, they yeah, don't like, give them deagles. That's the thing that's going to tip. They're like, oh, you carried a deagle. Clear sign of psychosis. Better to lock them up, boys. And More gonna, like I was shooting at that sorcerer and killed a family. <laughs> when the bullet through. went through the sorcerer. <laughs> yeah, well, what's the family doing with the sorcerer? And then the four houses behind the sorcerer. I'll just get the hydro <laughs> shot around. So you can stop after. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> uh, All right. Um, so. Uh, Tom, uh, you are in a bit of a pickle. Now, uh, according to Torg, as he's talking to you, he's like, right, I'll let you in with this. They check their weapons, but maybe the end will be okay. But look, we, we've got insurance things going on, okay? Oh my God. I, I haven't specced any of you, and they know that. If they're going to buy it, you can't have anything on you. You're on the right along. You're not even supposed to get out of the fucking car. You can have knives. Maybe you have an ankle piece, but you're going in there buck naked. We have these now. Hey, man, it's your characters. Um, <laughs> body armor, maybe? But no weapon? No. 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 They're not supposed to have weapons. Concealed body armor, because if, even if it's a ride-along, it could still be dangerous. You could have a concealed Kevlar vest. That's a three-point? I don't know. I'm just trying to think. Because... Mm-hmm. Even an unconcealed one, we can still probably, I'm hoping, get away with saying... No, you're saying you can't because of insurance uh, reasons. No matter you're not okay. an employee of the So company. I guess we'd have to go with concealed. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, you can be employees, but you haven't been vetted yet, which means you could just, you could just go along. Right. I have, the old the I have training, 70 right? in melee weapons. See, you I, have I to get your I training wheel before actually you can ride melee. big boy bikes. Yeah, <laughs> I have unarmed at 70. So I carry like a knife? Concealed? Uh, Yeah. One of those criminology to conceal weapons. <laughs> can I? Or military can, can I conceal it for? Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Cause I got criminology in seven. <laughs> okay, yeah, you. you Just what's out. your criminology? So, what? What's seven. your criminology? Uh, oh. seven. <laughs> Seventy. Okay. All right. Does he have an awkward boner? <laughs> All right. It's just my burn. Not a knife. <laughs> I really like working for him. <laughs> yes. I love these armored trucks. <laughs> oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, you can conceal. So, what are you concealing? I'm concealing a knife on him, and mm-hmm. we're both concealing a vest if we have to do that much work with it. Yeah, well, they'll be wired too. And I'll give you one weapon and a armor. I give you. You can have a D8 pistol or a knife. I'm gonna have to go with a pistol. I'm gonna go with the knife. Okay. Uh, well, they go, they'll also be like wired, like with bugs or whatever. Oh, wiper sound. sound. That's lovely. We yeah. are tracking devices, so we know where they're going. Yeah. And, like, if they're screaming or whatever, like, oh, yeah, no, get out, better go uh, hit that truck. So. Yeah. All right, uh, so, Kamaroff, what are you rolling with? Um, well, since we're out in the woods and we don't have to worry about night hikers, five point. <laughs> Dr. Dozer, you can have a six point if you want to be with a helmet and everything. Also, if they're waiting in the woods at night Bozer! in the cold, that should be some PTSD <laughs> issues right there. What? Really? Oh, well, it's you know, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when the poodles come. <laughs> well, that's what they will. <laughs> I'm figuring that uh, once you hit... Talk with okay. the shifty eye. By the way, hey, Ross. <laughs> once you hit six points... You better, you better feed the You beast. kind of lose credibility with the SWAT team. It's the sure. idea. <laughs> All right, you just want five? I'm thinking five is going to be... Five is attack vest with a helmet. 
According to the rules, which I actually read today. Which is rare. I know. Well, okay. I don't even do that to my own rules. It's all about the flowchart. <laughs> the, uh, He's more flowchart than Matt. <laughs> the SWAT team in the woods. What are they rocking? Six. Uh, Rollins is a ready. He's got an M4 night vision goggles, tack vest. Uh, as for his team, he's got an M4 with a undermounted M203 grenade launcher. Uh, he's got one round for it. You could tell what kind of round it is. Uh, so is it a flashbang? Is it a flare? Or is it a big explodey? Um, I'll let you decide, but he's big got one. Um, <laughs> Fillmore has a striker, meaning he has a revolver action automatic shotgun oh, yeah. where he can feed individual rounds to it, like slugs for breaching doors. Uh Bean bags for not killing things, mm-hmm. buckshot for oh, killing they things. That John Wick one. Yeah. Okay. It's a, it's a street sweeper, basically. <laughs> All right. Because um, you can't was... even even that even as ridiculous as that is, you still don't like you carrying saws around it's this. Colorado. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's uh, also carrying a battering ram. Okay. He's um, the big fat guy who done break yeah. walls. Yeah. So I know he's going to be there for kool aid but what is his armor? That's what I was aiming at. Probably everyone has six points, but you. In that case, we're going six. Yeah. Is that, <laughs> okay. And that wouldn't like inhibit mobility or anything? No. 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 Oh yeah, sweet. Yeah, six points. <laughs> it's also right. probably not going to oh. matter. But it's yeah. Fine. But it makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> at least against the human foes. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're at the ranch, though. That's. Yeah. No. We're You're fine. in the woods. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Waited up metagame, guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have a character. My character doesn't know about this shit. Uh, <laughs> as far as weapons, I'm going for tactical shotgun. Okay, that's a 2d10 outpost, 1d10 anywhere else. I've got revolver and whatever good mid-range weapon there is. Probably a carbine and MP5. I don't know guns, so... Uh, you have a submachine gun. You want a pew pew that does pew pew. You are on assist if you have an MP5, so you are okay. covered in ammo. Okay. You are the mule. Me, great. Uh, you are the asset, because you're old and you shouldn't be there. And they all know that, but they're not allowed to say so. Wait, does he get a combat cane? <laughs> Tactical cane, cane, something. Tactical <laughs> cane. It has pouches. Swiss <laughs> army, 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 army cane. Raleigh, kill the side. All right, so mark your stuff down. You have a submachine gun. That's a D. So we're giving him a life. Ten, special. but it's got a ten percent kill damage if you full auto burst something. Uh, what does that mean? It means it just if you roll an attack with a burst weapon, you roll under a ten, it it just kills it. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Otherwise, it's the dice added up hmm. for so kill like, damage yeah. weapons. But then you're reloading next round. Yeah. We just went. Everything is gone. Yeah. Uh, well, no. There's five round bursts and ten round burst versions of the two. Yeah. Suppressing fire! Um, also, since we're going to be in the woods, I'm also bringing Thermoso hot coffee and those nice little pocket hand warmers and boot warmers. I won't allow that. Uh, <laughs> everything yeah, else is fine. You want. <laughs> but, uh, no hand warmers. Jesus, it's not, it's a non-regulation thermos. <laughs> All right, yeah. So you can be in the woods. All right. Um, so, uh, you're there at night. Calvi Festus and Amagov are setting up uh, basic surveillance uh, Festus is uh, on Overwatch on the dirt bike track already, uh, but uh, you guys have to be arrive on site through other means. Uh, <laughs> Gilball is on the corner. Uh, do you want Condit and Thomasburg in their own car, or you want one of each? Uh, I don't know, one of each. That would be more entertaining. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who do you want to be in the car with? Uh, uh, he gets Thomasburg. He gets that's, yeah, Aaron and uh, Dr. Pantrell gets Thomas. No, because you no, you had a personality conflict with Con. You roll no, for that's it. What I'm saying for you it. roll for whoever's higher gets to pick first. Yeah. What, what are we it's just rolling high? Yeah. Uh percentile? Okay. Fuck. Twenty nine. Thirteen. Who do you want? You want Con or Tom Wilson? Tom Wilson for fuck it. I'm not gonna be in there with okay, that. Right. Yeah. We had a personality conflict. That's what I'm saying. You get Tom Wilson. That's that makes sense. All right. Uh, Gilbert's like on the text. corner. No, uh, so somebody need. It's going to be basic stagger surveillance. Somebody's going to be on Chi Ben's car near the flat. And we're all in communication right now? Yeah. What about these two? Leash and more. They're not. Yeah. Okay. They don't. Yeah. They don't yeah. have any wires That's on them. 
Uh, okay. That would be very bad we're if kind they of were found with those. We're just a tad off the grid right now. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna hope they show up to the grow house, not dead. Uh, you know what? That'd be great if we could do that. Well, yeah, let's, we'll see what we can do. Okay. okay. Hey, um, we might uh, have to drop us off to get like some coffee or something. So, Gibalt's on the corner. Uh, who is gonna be on Chi Ben's apartment, and who is gonna be Go on last. the red light area? Uh, Basically, the way you we'll follow be someone, on Gil- we'll be on the street corner. Yeah, the we'll way you on. follow someone without being known is you know where they're going first, and right. then you follow yeah. them after. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, you're on the street corner. Street corner. You're on the apartment. You're on the apartment. Okay. Uh, what are you and Thomas and Burke talking about? <sighs> so, at least at how friendly is he? Just a general conversation. So, uh, roll you met. <laughs> Thirty four made it. It's just horrifically awkward. Uh, <laughs> you can uh, taste the religious upbringing. Bordering on abuse, uh, it, it, in his every action, he seems painfully uncomfortable being near a woman in a enclosed space. Especially in this uh, room. his high and tight bespeaks a love of discipline that he has long missed since his day in the army. Uh, yeah, and- he is reading a Bible to pass the time. <laughs> he is hard to be around. Is he Mormon? Uh, Dun, 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 dun. But you David, can ask him. David, okay. David did bring a good up a point that I probably should not let him know I'm a lesbian and married lesbian at that. Sinner. <laughs> he loved that. Caleb kept drinking the beer. How <laughs> would you like to talk to him? It's going to be a long night. So, so. Jesus, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so how long have you been in the service? I've been working for the federal agency um, for... <sighs> Uh, for like, for like three years now. So three years. So that's like, what was your, what were your primary duties before then? Well, uh, I was, I was in the, um, I was in the Army Rangers. Uh, I was, uh, I was deployed. Oh wow. So and that's like any other. That's like particular interest of interesting protocols on that. No. Just, um, I'm not allowed to talk about it. Well, no, I'm often not mission specs, but just areas that that's like interesting areas of the world. That's the one regret I have, at least being stateside, is that I really didn't get a chance to. That's like to travel that much as as, oh, as I would like to. Mm. And so outside of the border. So. Do, do you hunt? So, <laughs> not personally, but my father, yes. but my father does. So pretty. That's like pretty avid. That's uh, like a pretty avid uh, bow hunter. Oh, that's. That's cool. So no, I uh, I never really had a taste for it my, uh, itself. But oh. my parents process all the meat right now. Every Christmas, it's pretty much a nice thing of deer where, sausage. Where are you from? So, uh, speci- uh, I'm that's why I'm from around Bethesda. So, oh okay. So, so what are you like Patriots fans up there or what? So uh, yeah, my Packers, dad's. I guess. So well, I think Packers are going to be more Wisconsin. So, oh. but uh, do you know where Bethesda is? Doesn't. <laughs> okay. So, oh, so what are like, you rolling? Psychotherapy. Trying to make him more or persuade. Uh, what would be better for making him more comfortable? Just sitting there. Look, you, does you, this smell like you realize, to you? I, was like, I didn't realize so that you may not have been on many, uh, despite your other uh, team members. Like, may not have been on Overwatch with us, like many, us, like many of the women. Yeah. No, I'm not going to bite. So. No, it's fine. I'm just nervous. Uh, Gilbalt's, you know, just like my little sister. I mean, I can't say that Condit punched me one time, but... <laughs> she seems pretty protective. You know, I like her. She's cool. She reminds me of my little sister. So It's not weird or anything. <laughs> if anything happens to her, though... Holy I, God, I, you are I, repressing so hard. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, I didn't know I didn't say that. I was like, you know what? That's it's so. Nice. Uh, you see a uh, young uh, Southeast Asian woman uh, come walking out of an apartment building. Uh, she gets into what it seems to be a very nice car, a uh, sports car, uh, and uh, from a space that is very close to the building in the middle of Denver parking, and drives off. So you guys start trailing after her. Yeah. Um, Who's driving? So um, <clears throat> I will let him drive since I have a forty. But I, well, I would. He, he said NPCs will have 50. 50 and what matters? And 50 and what matters. So. That's 10% more than you. Yeah, I'll let him know that. Although I'm reporting back, 
target is on the move. All right, so uh, how are you and Condit doing? Watching the street corner. Is she in the program or not? Uh, no. No. Okay. None of no. Sorry, so, <laughs> they got the guys who were good at shoot killing. All right. So let's yeah. talk, yeah, so we can, let's talk about monsters, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, <sighs> Worth that provost charm. <laughs> yeah. I have we can talk about monsters. At a percent. Ourselves. <laughs> Um, that is more than 20? It is. It's actually 52. Um, oh, look at you. Yeah, look at me. So... <sighs> got it. Um, this up is... These are really bad people. Uh, they're really into some freaky shit, so... Uh, you know, they file their teeth down. Uh, we've got that, so... Uh, yeah. I don't know. What's your experience? Don't be your stingy backside? with your bullets, is what I'm saying. <laughs> so if you get a chance, you know. Uh, Make them I bite some talk bullets. about that. Okay. You don't want to know? Uh, no. Well, I'm. Like I'm. We're neither. We've both been around the block a few times. We don't have to show off. Just FYI, in the future, yeah. the, the uh, they don't let you get neck tattoos uh, if you're just working in the office. Oh. Well, that's good. <laughs> um. I'm just office. saying, when we get to those, there will be some unusual things at the grow house and at that ranch. Uh, so, keep an open mind. And uh, Oh, fuck. Look at her. I know you shouldn't do this. Look, they got it. They're, they're boxing her out. Look. Uh, so, you look at the street. Yeah. You see Gilgoth's way down, away from the lights, yeah. uh, near the unused car wash of the Gat Station, rather the area where people go in and out. Uh, so the girls have not accepted her. Okay. Uh, uh, the girls, and not girls, and boys, right. uh, uh, have not accepted her at the corner. Uh, they smell narc, and they're <laughs> pushing her out of the area the corner, where... The corner has rejected. The main area. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. They have to hurt. Uh, so, what's, what's the play, then? Uh, I've not dealt much in vice. Uh, I mean, we could hope we roll them up before she gets here, uh, scare them off, and leave the corner to her. Uh, what, just play crazy, go in there and freak them out? Or just be obvious narc and, uh... Oh, no, we're gonna have to pull badges. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna have to crack that. Alright. Uh, I'll follow your lead. Uh, I respect your uh, experience. Your authority. All right. Uh, so, uh, who's driving? Uh, my drive is at forty, so she can drive as well. All right. She <laughs> she puts a cherry out. You yeah. know, woo! She goes up. The girls are all like rolling their eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you want? Uh, I don't suppose uh, any of you. Yeah. Can I offer you uh, this corner is kind of important right now. Sex? It's going to be cleaned up. Uh, the streetcar is going to come by a little bit to wash everything away, all the dirt and everything. So maybe you should, might want to get out of the way first. Because, uh, you know, we do have nice cook, residential cook, cook. accommodations for you. This is a nice night. neighborhood. Uh, so persuade. Oh, yeah, you can try it. Uh, nope, fail that. <laughs> <laughs> They've had worse people try to persuade. Okay. Uh, you could roll idea. <laughs> All right. No, actually, it's crap. Uh, yeah, nine. Uh, you need to scare them off. It okay. needs to not be official. It needs to be like bad cop. <laughs> okay. You're here for fun, not for work. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> you have a badge. Like, oh, are we going full Nicholas Cage, bad lieutenant? Yeah. Uh, well, you're not looking for something uh, yourself so much as you I'm are uh, a crazy woman heading misogynist. Uh, be drunker. Be crazier. <laughs> high. Okay. Be, uh, be high. This is not going to be good. All right. Yeah, all right. Uh, hey, where's that uh, that that jug? You know, in the back. Uh, the one. You know, I read this story the other day about how people who are disrespectful in India uh, they got acid thrown in their faces. I think that's a that's a good trend. We should start on that. Uh, so I start reaching in the back looking for something. All right, I'll see if she picks up on it. Yeah. She does. Yeah. The fuck are you doing, Jimmy? Yeah. I told you about this shit. You can't drink and come out here, man. Uh, no, no, no. Like, we, we just need to just melt everything away. It'll be great. Uh, they'll have to learn a goddamn trick. She starts angrily yelling at the girls in Spanish. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, like, trying to hold you back from yeah. the trunk. 
So yeah, uh, Jimmy, no, she's coming back, man. You gotta calm down. I just start rambling at this point. <laughs> ah, I don't want the fucking bugs everywhere. <laughs> stuck like corpse. Uh, <laughs> weirdly enough, that seems. All right, so they're not true. scared. Yeah. But they're as scared as they get because they roll their eyes and start walking. Away. Yeah. Uh, all right, you gotta get in position. Okay. Uh, These are some battle hardened prostitutes. <laughs> uh, uh, so roll luck. In a war okay. zone. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. All right, you get out of the way before she I pulls up. Hell. All right, so uh, the sports car pulls up. It's sort of blank out. Now you are very far away. Uh, you he you just out. have eyes on uh, Gilwell. No. Uh, so let's see what happens. <laughs> they were in the firefight. Okay. Uh, the talk's not going well. Uh, you see the car start to pull off, and Gilbert sort of like reach in. Uh, pulling it back, it's it's not going super great. Okay. Uh, the car is kind of pulling away again. Uh, phase three. Phase three. Do you want to move or you want to let it move? Uh, well, I mean, we if I mean we could just pull up in front to block the way so that she has another shot at it. You know what I mean? Well, so you're gonna pretend to not be cops and just get in the way of her? Yeah, get in the way. So like the pro- like she can't just pull away. So the, uh, that'll give uh, Gil about one more chance to... All right, who's doing that? Because uh, you're both on scene. They followed her. Um, How far are we behind? I'd you're say. there. You're up, you're about a, the equal distance from them. Yeah. So she have a chance of recognizing both of them. Worst case, uh, we can box her in. Yeah, there. no, you, 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 you guys try it because you've already been following her. So you could just be like, zoom ahead uh, and do it. Speak. And then we'll follow her because she hasn't seen us at all. Okay, um, since I also have drive auto, would I be able to give a bonus to just the straight 50, so. Baby, please don't try and give me a bonus as I'm driving my car next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm helping. <laughs> Turn left. Turn hey, man, I'm sure <laughs> that's happened in the past experience. <laughs> yeah. One quarter mile at a time. Uh, okay. Uh, he pulls up. Tom, listen. Perfect. It's... <laughs> tries to be casual, but it turns into. Yeah. Uh, so, what's everybody's decks? Uh, uh, ten. Okay. Uh, nine. All right. Uh, she's thirteen. This was uh, a great plan. Nothing wrong. Continue with that. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. So, here's what happens. Uh, both of you roll sand. Okay. Oh no. Uh, make it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, okay. At your feet, yeah. Alright, All right, so, uh, you guys, uh, <laughs> just lose Good. one. Okay. Okay, yeah, I made it. So, yep, Gil Vault. As Gil Vault sort of stands up straight and. and then you just see her eyes recede? back into her head as her skin just sort of shrinks down and then she just sort of caves in on herself. Okay. Uh, 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 I'm Kanda just starts fucking screaming. I start shooting. Thomas and Burke is frozen at the wheel. Uh, yeah, I have uh, the rifle and start shooting. Uh, yeah, I'm turning. I'm getting out there. <laughs> I'm putting rounds down right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll fire. Uh, five round burst, I guess. So she's in the car, so yeah. there is some armor okay. for the car. All right, I'm going to... Uh, oh, we can't, can, I do the, bar, so. can I do the burst with the pistol as well, or is that just a one no, shot? No, it's one shot. It's a pistol. Okay, well, I didn't. So. Uh, yeah, make it. Uh, okay. Or actually, yeah. Uh, Shit, missed by four. Uh, what's your shoot rating? Uh, your 73. So, okay, yeah, you definitely make that. Yeah. So and missed by four, I was 60. All right, so you're trying to get across Thomas or... <laughs> Uh, you're shooting as well. Yeah, I kind of yeah. open the door. Uh, okay, so, uh, you start hammering away downfield. Should I just roll for a kill damage then? Uh, well, with... Did you do a burst? Uh, well, there's no kill damage because she's inside armor. Oh, like, okay. anything you have is popping right, through well, windows. Just roll the windows. Yeah, so. you just roll the d12. All right, then it's just pop, pop. So, uh, 12. Damn! Whoa. <laughs> Ouch! Uh, Yeah! <laughs> that, that'll do it. <laughs> do I feel satiated now? So the car backs up. Yeah. Um, you feel more than satiated. Uh, so roll sand. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, 24, I make it. Just lose one. Okay. Because I feel great. I lose sand for feeling terrible. I feel lose sand for losing for feeling great. Uh, uh you do feel man. great, but it's not language. Yeah. So, like, it's like a combination of the mating specials of every uh, nature documentary you've ever seen. And you just really get the picture of uh, a snake just gagging on a whole pig. Yeah. Just... It's full satiate and like it's not just the image like you imagine your jaw splitting that way you feel that mass of meat <laughs> just being digested inside you uh, you just feel whole uh, again and yeah uh, you your eyes kind of roll back in your head counted is screaming what the fuck are you doing <laughs> well, like, you wouldn't understand. When I, when I recover, I'll say, uh, <laughs> I get uh, epilepsy. Uh, Thomasenberg's out. Yeah. Uh, he's just like. <laughs> Is Gillipot alive? Or? Oh, God, no. Okay. She's oh, shriveled. no. She, she shriveled. She's, wow. yeah, she's not. <laughs> definitely not alive, whatever right. happened to her, but. All right. Looking at the body of the, of, uh, <laughs> of, uh, the CEO. <laughs> Like, is her head just completely gone? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, back <laughs> from where his car was. Just mm. Kind of like Harper. <laughs> wow. <laughs> just wow. Yeah. Look uh -huh. at this as revenge. Pulling them off right now. We need to clean this up now. Yeah, call Pizzarelli. I'm calling Pizzarelli. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. You're, yeah. you're making him to get sand checks. Yeah, oh, no, I'm sure he has. <laughs> uh, Pizzarelli, uh, the, uh, the sting went bad. <laughs> Uh, the CEO was down, so is uh, Gilbert. It's like two in the morning. Now, oh yeah, so. no. I know. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. If we don't get to sleep, he don't get to. So, uh, she died pretty quick. Yeah. But she died knowing something was going on. Yeah. Do you want to bank and last longer for them to get there, uh, or do you want to go I now? I say we go now because. Support like they're going to be suspicious. Like there's no. You're going to lose IDS if you go now because their yeah. IDS is not getting them up in the morning at two a.m. Right, but they might not be at the grow. I, I'm hoping they're not all at the grow house uh, or at the ranch uh, that they sleep at different places. And if not, you're going to lose some of them basically if you go down. Yeah, the small fish. But we got the head. The we, head. we want the big. We want the big fry. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so are we being pulled, or what's going on here? Uh, so we split the teams uh, and hit the two locations. Uh, uh, yeah, well, we can just we have mark off Gillibot right there. <laughs> uh, so, oh yeah, you take Sam. Yeah, you fed her into this. That's helplessness. Yeah, it's definitely helplessness. Uh, Thirty-eight. This is the job. <laughs> Right. The that's one. That's one for helplessness too. Yeah, that's one. You get a box. It's huge. Oh. Um. So, uh, yeah, I don't see like the guards. We don't know how she can alert them. She, we, we have to assume that they, they. It's only a matter of time before they respond, before they figure out what's going on. Um, because she knew something was up, and we don't know if she made a call or if she has some unnatural way of, of warning her minions. No, probably not. Uh, yeah, no, she does. Probably she definitely not. does. No. Uh, so uh, I would agree. She, yeah. So uh, are they moving now with just the three of them, or are they waiting for them to get there? Um, Have you radioed us or anything? Uh, yeah, no, we're radioing them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they, yeah, it we're really bad. dependent on your intel to make a decision. So it's kind uh, of, well, actually, search her card. Look at her phone. So she bins dead. Uh, the the phone was not on. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. she wasn't up. Um, actually, I'll leave it to you too because you're the ones going in the shark tank. It she went bad, just, but she went down dead. instantly, so she, she may not have gotten word out. Dead. Do you want to go on with the plan as uh, progress, or do you want to raid them now? Let's go now. Can you? Okay. Can you? Go well, now. it's their call. Not, we're not going to send more people undercover yeah, after this one. Yeah, so yeah dude, let's just go now. Okay. okay. Re-equipping. Um, so, let's see. Re-equipping. And yeah, so finally, five. the moment he's been waiting So it'll take you, you it'll be about 3.30 or 4. Yeah. yeah. There won't be anyone on the dirt bike track, thankfully. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it will be a dawn raid, basically. Yeah. Uh, by the time you guys get there. Uh, is Ranch holding off until then? 
Uh, yeah, Ranch is just watching. Ranch is still <laughs> keeping it under surveillance for backup because uh, we'll do the raids at the same time, and then. Um, what monster thermidor? We let's see. Um, I think one of maybe one PC should go to like Doctor Control should go to the ranch, and then I could go to the grow house. Um, Are we? Yeah. Are we assuming that uh, our backup people are still in on this after what they just saw? Uh, well, that yeah, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, are we going to have Condit and Tomlinsonburg because they saw the, yeah. the spell go off? And uh, Condit seems to be the head of this, so if she's out, then... Well, yeah. she's in shock, and say, you're like, this is why we killed them. Like, yeah, if you want revenge, yeah. we yeah. can hit them now. Uh, yeah, that, that'd be a persuade, so... Yeah. It's up to Provost's charm to get her. Well, he is a higher persuasion. It's true. Uh, not by much, though. So. Yeah, but also, uh, bad reactions to her. Um, you uh, guys are seeing this shit. That's true. All right. All right, so it's up to Provost to. First. Uh, it's, well, we can. Yeah, I'll tell Condit. Uh, yeah, first we need to make sure that we still have these other dudes with us. Well, this is why we hit them. This is why we take them out. Uh, because they can do things like that. Uh, if you. Want to hit them back? We can go now uh, and raid the grow house and the ranch at the same time. Are you in, or are you? Turn down it. Yeah. Or are you done for the night? Uh, no, she's she's in. All right. Uh, Tom Lissenberg has to call Gilball's family. Okay. But no. she's she's down. All right. Yeah. Uh, this is what I meant by having an open mind. Uh, uh, so <laughs> she's not real talkative anymore. She's no, just driving fair. really fast. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> So, I oh, will go I'm to the grow room. house, and then... With her? Uh, yeah. And then Tomlinsonburg and Contrell will uh, go to the ranch. Tomlinsonburg's out. Oh, Tomlinsonburg's out. He's dealing with his dead friend. All right. Um, and then, yeah, Dr. Contrell will go to the ranch. So, we have decent-ish numbers. Um, okay, roll military science. Tom? Fuck. <laughs> to coordinate this operation... Okay, and One, two, we're good. Three, Forty-seven. Four, five, <gasps> so, yeah, we have thirteen people, so it's going to be odd. Seven. All right. One, so on together. site, you see the grow house. There's a spiral right, staircase right, that leads down into the underground level. These are all uh, various rows of pot plants. This is the guest work room, but it's basically been hemmed in on all sides by. Earth movers, basically. Uh, the second floor, which is basically just this, is the only place visible with a small dispensary up top. Okay, so who was the door breacher guy, Festus? Uh, I think he was with us. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but I'm, I'm just giving sorry, you this so you can figure it out. I'm going to go to the ranch now. Okay. It's, it's been a while. Mm -hmm. uh, so, ranch team. Yes. Uh, Rollins is calling Fillmore fat. Fillmore uh, is laughing half-heartedly. Astra is yeah. giving Rollins shit for looking like Henry Rollins because <laughs> uh, his name is actually Spencer and he's got a southern twang and doesn't seem to like black flag. Um, so they are all just bullshitting in the woods okay. while, you know, freezing their asses off and waiting to do something. Coffee? It's like a movie set. Did you, yeah. did he, did you allow him the coffee? Yes. I okay. Am. I am silently drinking it's tactical coffee. coffee. Yes. So, uh, with full body roast. Anything happened while I was gone? You cannot pee and do anything. That's a hypothetical question. Things <laughs> obviously happened while I was gone. What happened? <laughs> well, um, a lot went down. Apparently, our new shrink Wait, thinks that we're crazy. Really. Wow. I don't know where she got that impression. No, I don't know why they needed to hire a shrink to tell us that. That's just battle fatigue. We'll be fine. Well, yeah. your shrink's going to help fine. you. Absolutely fine. Um, so we figured out that there's some freaky stuff going on. Uh-huh. Like there is. Yes. Pretty much always. Of course. And uh, ah. that is some hellacious weed. Interesting. Note the adjective. Uh, both of you roll alertness. All right. Nope. No. It's a quiet night out. 
Uh, you get news the Cantrell's coming in and that things are reactive, so you're going to okay. have to go fast. Uh, she's about two hours out. It's so right. about 4 a.m. before you do it, uh, but the guys are getting quieter. They, they know this is for real now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tensing up. Yeah. Uh, so do you wait for the signal, or do you want to go early? Make sure we're in position. This is a really easy question. <laughs> uh, but I'm not there, so I can't do this. Is that, are we... Uh, are we in like a, the optimal position for Cantrell's arrival? Is there anything else we can do to prep more? Um, no, no. You're okay. all waiting in the woods. Uh, Cantrell's gonna have to park and hoof it to you. Okay. Uh, I suppose Astra's gonna go back and get her, basically. Hmm. But uh, as long as you have eyes, eyes on it, so you know that like yeah. if they turn the lights on. Do we have on, our like, scout? Start manning the guard post. You know. Something. Uh, Rollins is your scout. Okay. Uh, Rollins, keep eyes open. Make sure that. Okay, if things are starting to get hot, that means that they may know that we're coming. This Keep that true. in mind. Uh, he's been looking through the night scope all night. Uh, there's there's lights on. Uh, lights been on all night. Okay. Uh, Just the same. Nothing's light. changed. Yeah. It's a pretty shitty little ranch house and has been well taken care of. Okay. Do we know anything about the residents? Only that. Um, uh, what's his name? Uncle Tiberius. Tiberius is at the ranch. Uncle yes. Tiberius. Is well, it's just probably maybe the no talking rule should be enforced. As in, if he starts to talk, shoot him. That's what I was thinking. That's why I asked. <laughs> yeah. Because um, we failed, we haven't enforced that rule very well. Uh, can I relay that to the, in some way, to the the, whatever people? Uh, How are you going to? Well, I rational. can. That should be maybe a team masticate thing. Yeah, I think I'm not, yeah, <laughs> I'll like, that. And just say, oh, I thought he was reaching for a gun. Uh, yeah. So you guys roll luck. Okay. okay. <laughs> no. It's power times five. Yes. Actually, did they tell us about, um, what's her name dying? Dillabot. She yeah. then? I made it. I One of you needs to make oh. it. Oh, well, he so rolled. you guys decide. Well, he you... rolled first, so this counts. No. You decide and who re-roll. makes the luck check and re-roll. Who has higher power? Uh, mine is at 7. Mine's 25. No, power. What's oh, your, mine's 5. Your power is 5? I think so. No, or it could be 10. Okay, no, it's 10 because yeah, it's 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Messy character sheet, sorry. Uh, so, and what's your power? Uh, mine is 14. All right, you roll. Yes. And this is the one that counts. 4. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, you're good. Uh, it's really quiet. Nothing going on. All looks like it's 4 a.m. No dogs show up to, like... Birds, ferrets. Yeah. <laughs> nope. I was thinking owls. Oh, God. Don't give them ideas. <laughs> All right. All so, right, uh, so uh, you two peel into the uh, yeah. you know zone. Festus has got eyes on everything. He's bitching over the radio. What the fuck you want me to do? They're buried in dirt. I can't see any fucking windows. Like, uh, Amagoff and Kelby are ready to go. Uh, you arrive with uh, Condit. Yeah. She takes control of the fire team. Uh, they're they're all suiting up. So uh, it, it's basically uh, when you go. Uh, I will. So it's just you three there. I guess just you, you're the only one. Okay. Yeah, I'm the only. Well, I'm already star. The other two oh, are yeah, at the range. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a number of us. All right. Uh, so roll alertness. Just me. <laughs> yeah, just you. Fuck. Hey, please. Oh God. <laughs> uh, yes. Twenty six. <laughs> All right. You uh, you hear uh, boots crunching gravel behind you. I turn around with my gun drawn, pointed at it. Look at. Uh, you see a motocross. Driver, he's got a helmet on. You know, does he feel a r- yellow leather jacket? Is he wrong? <laughs> what? Is he wrong? Do feels want- very wrong. I shoot him. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Are we there to see him shoot? No, you're gonna be coming to us. Uh, thirty-nine. Oh. Hit. You did hit him. Yeah. Does he go down? Uh, he goes somewhere. He disappears. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Oh, uh, you two. <laughs> have, we had, have we had a chance to re-equip, by the way? 
Oh yeah, you okay. arrived. You were all ready. Yeah, you good. were getting a tactical picture. Uh, Condit showed up, yeah. started uh, organizing, uh, no. and then you saw. I did not make it. I did. Yeah, I did not make it. Uh, you hear. <laughs> you hear bullets. So I did not. I, oh, is this a violence thing or just a? It's unnatural. Okay, so unnatural. I did not make it. Uh, yeah. So you you, you hear bullets go pinging around. Uh, you you apparently see uh, Arthur just <laughs> shooting into the woods. Uh, so that is a one d three as you literally just arrived. And oh, he's well, going. Oh, crap. Actually. Yeah, one d three. Yeah. I thought. So, yeah, I thought it's one d three for help. Oh, okay. So supernatural. Okay, so you just was only lost answer before. I thought yeah. it was for. Right, they so saw it. No, it's for. Holy right, shit! This is my team leader. Yeah. And roll it. Who is just waylaid a tree. Yeah. So take three off my sanity. Yeah. Three off your sanity. What are you shooting at? There was someone there. You and your shit. Yeah. You hear gravel next to you again, though. Yeah. I turn. What is it? It's the. Motocross guy again. I don't shoot him immediately, uh, but I have my weapon drawn. Do you see him? Do I see anything? Put the matcha pinche brujo! They're not talking. Oh, yeah. shit. Uh, uh, do I recognize this person? No, he's not taking his mask off. Uh, take your mask off. Don't, don't talk through this one. When did you get back? When did I get back? Uh, uh, so, uh, roll sand. Yeah, I'm totally lost. Uh, that is a 38. So I make it. Alright, uh, lose one. Yeah. Uh, you see a lizard, uh, vomit up its intestines. Uh, you see another, uh, a, a taper lose its tongue. Uh, you see another creature's jaw lock as it's been uh, broken off as uh, it slowly sars to death, unable to chew. Uh, shut up. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Okay, I uh, shut up. Oh, that's so much better. I haven't seen you in forever. Why are you writing this one? Oh, I didn't know they got past the language thing. I've missed you so much. Fuck. You must be so hungry. Are you here for mine? Uh, I nod. Oh, it's good to see you back. It's been it's been so lonely here. They're dullards, these ones. Uh, I missed you very much. I, I'm glad you're here. I now we've talked about this before. Uh, we we know that uh, I, I don't like you interfering with mine, but. Uh, I understand that, you know, uh, uh, someone has to eat, so I'll let this one go. Uh, but it's it's lovely to see you again. Uh, so the, the mask sort of draws back and a tongue comes out, uh, and it starts moving towards your face, dripping blood from the black hole in the motocross mask. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm probably... Uh, trying to understand what the fuck's going on. I guess I could roll a natural. Yeah, give it a shot. <laughs> uh, nope. If I, that was from flip day, I could do that, but no. 60 over 9. So, uh, I have no idea what's going on. Uh, yeah, you're too busy seeing, um, every primal creature in acts of rage and love. Just primal, right. primal mating experience. As the, the bloody tongue goes across your face, uh, and then you, it's gone. Uh, so basically, what you see, you hear pop, 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 fog of war, what happened? And then you see uh, Arthur standing there with blood dripping off of his face, streaked up in, in a mat. So uh, roll sand again, <laughs> Arthur. Oh, uh, that's a failure. Uh, that's a crit failure, all right. Oh, that's a 1d10. <laughs> I lose 10, I'm out. I'm base, well, uh, that is 30, yeah, I'm down to 30 sanity now. Uh, that's so, yeah, uh, how awesome. do you want to... Uh, wait, You can this. suppress? Uh, no, I will first project this onto my coworkers. Fuck those assholes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, project uh, the shit out of that. Uh, so that's four, so it's only six sanity. Uh... 
<laughs> so, fuck those guys. Uh, and then I will try to suppress the insanity. Uh, but so it's been 1d6 willpower. Uh, yeah. Do, do, do. Four. So that puts me at nine. And I get to add my score to it, so... Uh, nope. That failed. So... Okay. So what happens when I fail? Uh, when you added your score with it? Yeah. So you didn't... Uh, when you suffer a temporary insanity or an acute episode of indefinite insanity, you can try and keep control of your character by focusing on people who depend on you. Tip standards and adding a bond bonus to repress these. So you added the bond bonus? Yeah. All right, uh, so, yeah, you're taking indefinite. All right. Uh, well, no. Well, I only lost six this time, not... Uh, so my break... Oh, well, that still goes under my breaking point. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, how do you want to lose it? Uh, you can go berserk and charge at the building. Uh, uh, you can go bye-bye uh, in your brain, or you can just start fleeing in the other direction. I gotta get it off my face. I start clean, like, get my water bottle or canteen out, just start pouring. <laughs> just like, gotta clean my face. It's on me, it's on me, you know? Just What are you guys doing? Yeah, yeah I'm still freaked out, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, what the fuck are you doing? What the hell is happening? I'm uh, shouting random horrible things in Mexican Spanish. <laughs> uh, so what's my new breaking point? I guess my current sanity right. minus yeah. my current power. Yeah. All right. So three, four, minus. Eight, eight, eight. We have to go. They heard that. We have got to move. Uh, all teams, move, move. Uh, so <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, you fired into the woods. Uh, so uh, it is. It is go time. Uh, <laughs> Make sure I just, I just like smack him like it's go time. <laughs> yeah, I'm just wiping my face off. Like whether he's ready to go or not, like, yeah. okay. like this is happening right now. Rifle right, up. Right, so yeah, that, now we will. Uh, we got some actual guns. That yeah. message reaches the ranch people too. I'm sure. Oh yeah, no. no guns right. Very frantic. And I was meeting up with them, correct? So well, the ranch yeah. far away enough they wouldn't hear the gunshot. But yeah, no yeah, no, you're, 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 they, you're no, you're. But we got condits message. Yeah, you're 40 or 50 miles away, but oh. yeah. you can have a radio message. Okay, so do you know that that's just a, no. it's go time. <laughs> no, it's more like moo, moo, and while people are screaming, "What is wrong with you?" It's in the background, as I'm you're screaming, any of that. as you're screaming, "Get it off!" Uh, trying to wipe the blood off my face. typical Delta Green. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Team Ranch. Right, <laughs> we move now. You've heard the lady. All right, uh, do you want to come up with the plan, or should ask her come up with the plan? What's her? Uh, she has it in. Uh, she has fifty in all relevant. Skills. Aster's a hint. He, he, he has, has 50, fifty in all relevant skills. I have technically eleven percent more. Yeah, Tom, roll for it. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, we we actually avoided that whole crazy yeah. thing. Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna succeed. Twenty. That was a two. All right. Uh, you guys should have uh, Phil Moore and Ask and Rollins up front mm-hmm. uh, to breach the front door. Uh, I thought Rollins was with us. They are. Fillmore and Rollins should reach the front door. Astra should stay back with the M203 in case anything bad happens. Uh, you three should peel around the backs and sides to ensure no one runs out the back. Of the ranch. So you two are with us. Lock and load. Oh, no. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's I, Dom, I, Camera. Okay. Wait, I get, oh, no. You guys are at the grow house. Yeah. 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 Uh, no. You two. You know. Sorry. You know that you just have to charge bullshit fast down those stairs. Okay, I gave um, him, and set up a beachhead. Okay. I gave him a nine millimeter. Okay, I, that's actually, I, I have a long arm. Oh, I, all right. I, so I, I, you guys, do you no. want Astrid to decide or not? Uh, it's military science to be good at this. Yeah. Yes. Astrid needs to be good at something. I speak Mexican. Astrid figures out the same thing. So that's the plan. Uh, so you three go around back. They'll be up front. Okay. So Great. It, you're not here yet, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. No, you're there. You made it. Oh, you did. Okay, sweet. Yeah, so you arrive. You're in the woods. Astra pulls you through the woods. You hear, go, go, go. Uh, now you're all running through the woods in the all right. night. <laughs> all right, so the three of us, far away. Yeah, the three of us sprint around the ranch house. Now, what you realize with Astra's plan, while it is better tactically, if he comes out the front door... None of them are prepared to shoot a man because he looks like he's about to talk. Right. Uh, We've seen. I've. I've also briefed them. It's like, uh, 
about yeah. the weird shit that she did. You yeah. know what the fuck you saw. You saw a person deflate, and then there was gunfire. Right, right. you take the back, um, I'll take the front. Um, after I... slight amendment to your plan, I'll stay up here because most likely this is the spot where you will need medical attention. I'm skilled in first aid. <sighs> All right, stay way back. Yes. So way back. By me. All right. So he's with the, uh, he's, so you guys are out front, uh, you two roll around. Yep. Uh, what do you want to say? Do you want to say anything or is it a no-knock raid? <laughs> I know what I would prefer, but. <laughs> but you're crazy, right? I, you're well, screaming, right? I now. had a bad experience, okay? <laughs> what, did, what, did Nyla Thortep lick you? I don't think it was Nyla Thortep. I think it was. Uh, what was the. Uh, oh, it was. Oh, it was? Yeah. Well, see, it was, a, it was kind of a. He's okay with bass. Yeah, okay. Well, what's no, the name of the... They, they got along just fine. <laughs> it was a false flag because of that. <laughs> uh, what's the name of the one that she been killed? I thought it was two of them. Dude, you got kissed. <laughs> exactly, all right. It was a bad touch. <laughs> <sighs> no means no. Yeah. Nyarl with Hotep crawling okay. chaos. Yeah, yeah I thought Nyarl with Hotep would visit whoever is going to go kill his followers. <laughs> uh, but once he realizes his old friend Bash, yeah, he wants to see how this plays out. <laughs> like, uh, these humans, they are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> They're so amusing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a no knock because these are the same people who killed uh, Gilbo. Gilbo. Yeah, All right, uh, so Phil Moore, ch- 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 the hinges fly off the door. They both go in. Uh, I, I was going to continue briefing you, but okay, if we're doing this. Uh, <laughs> okay, we'll do it live. Yeah. Okay, we're, no, we're back up. All right, uh, dex order. Mm. For front of the house? Everybody. Okay, 15. Everyone. 12. 9. I did like saying 15? Yeah. All right, uh, so... You see a man come to the window and, and look out uh, on the side yeah. uh, uh, near the back where you're looking. Uh, okay. He looks ancient, uh, old oh. as hell. Oh, ancient, you said. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, oh, I know what I would look. do. What's that? <laughs> I know what I would do. Oh, you have a, you're a one-trick pony. I, <laughs> we know what you would do. <laughs> how tasty does he look? Nom, That's nom, true. Nom, how nom, how nom, tasty nom, does nom, he look? Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> uh, you think anyone's tasty at this point. Oh. Uh, it's been a long time. You're very hungry. Okay. Can't really tell. Well, I'm shooting. Okay. Um, with the... I guess, does it matter which of the two guns? Uh, like, how far away is he? Uh, he's a, a distance and in the house, so... Okay. Rifle. Uh, I don't have a rifle. Oh, well... I have an SMG and a revolver, I think. <laughs> an SMG could hit him. All right, yeah, let's do SMG. Yeah, roll it. Okay, no, I didn't make it, but I also didn't critical. <laughs> All right. Uh, so as that happens, you start pelting the house with gunfire. Okay. Uh, so Aster's going to use his turn. And he's like, maintain field of fire. We have men in there. Uh, so his turn is going to be screaming at you. <laughs> Great. Um, so uh, Rollins and Fillmore are going to clear their rooms in the house. Uh, other people are going to act. Uh, what are you guys doing? Um, doing yes. as I'm supposed to, keeping that front door covered. Yeah, I'll stay behind there too on this because I'm not a combat. You're with me. Oh, am I? oh yeah, I gotta keep with the crazy. So, all right, <laughs> I see that guy. You're all such. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, well, he, he went away after the first spray of gunfire. It's a blind fire now. You're negative twenty. Negative twenty. What crap, man? Okay. <laughs> Shoot into the house. Don't crit fail. <laughs> it's, like, it's like you're daring me. <laughs> you're firing into a house where other men are... In. Uh, made it... Tw- uh, just made it minus 20, right? Yeah. But made it 29 out of 30. So. All right, roll damage. Uh, uh, fine. Okay. Uh, so there's that. Uh, so... Did you act yet? You can't really see anything from your side. You had to spread around. You see the back door. Oh, uh, no, I'm staying up front. Oh, yeah, you stayed up front. Uh, yeah, you see the house with the lights. You see some shapes moving on. You hear bullets. You see them hitting the ground. Um, you see lights going out. Uh, so, 15, what are you doing? It's dark in there now. 
It's dark in there now? Do we have, like, we've got flashlights, uh, et cetera, right? You'd have to get closer for a flashlight to Yeah, uh, okay. <sighs> Lydia, I'm going to get closer. If you see anybody come into your field of vision that isn't us, shoot. And don't shoot me. No. I can't emphasize that enough. Yeah, <laughs> I progress towards the, how many means of ingress are there back here? Any? Uh, yeah, there's a back door. Okay. Uh, uh you roll sand. Uh, critical success. You totally are. You're totally sane. You're fine. Uh, you want something that's in that propane tank out back. You don't know why? You know it's probably not rational. Uh, you know that it's probably something to avoid, but you desperately want whatever is in that propane tank out back. <laughs> Do want... Oh. The one with the weird tubes connected to it? Mm. The big one that looks like you could ride it? Oh <laughs> you finally figured out what the growth agent is? No, no, no. I, knew, I didn't know how it was going to come into play. <laughs> so it'd be a sand check to not go after it? No, he's fine. He okay. made a critical sand check. Right. He knows that it's not rational to go over okay. in the middle of a firefight and begin sucking on that tube at the side of the property. <laughs> despite the fact that he desperately, desperately would want to do that. Son of a bitch, Emptying your clip into the side of that propane tank and drinking the sweet nectar that would come out would be totally not the thing to do right now. You really want to go? And so he could he could keep that under control. Wait, are you are you trying to do do not the the, the red shiny button? (laughs) That red candy like button. Well, in this case, it's trying to do uh, fry in the slurm factory. (laughs) Yeah, I think that it's yeah. Somebody's trying to fuckle my brain. (laughs) Oh, your brain was long since fucking. This is the all right. Astro's like, get down, police, federal <laughs> agents. Uh, so you hear uh, Phil Moron. It's like hostage, uh, taking away his hostage, uh, and then you hear uh, Ron, fuck, he's dead. Uh, you hear gunfire going from inside. You know, great. Uh, you see holes punching through the back. Oh, of the house. Okay, uh, as you move closer, uh. <laughs> uh, you hear you know Tango down. Astra's moving forward at a run. As am I now. Uh, so, uh, you two can roll alertness. Okay. Uh, shoot. I, I made it. it. Missed it by nine. Okay. Uh, so, uh, roll luck. Both of you. Okay. Me too, or? Uh, yes, okay. you as well. <laughs> no. Failed by two. All right, so you are both closing in on the house. <laughs> um, you get near to Dr. Cantrell. Dr. Cantrell is, you know, gun-facing at the house uh, as you guys are covering the back door. Mm-hmm. Um, they're all moving in through the front. Uh, you hear something, uh, and then you turn around, and are the trees coming at you? Uh, roll sand. Both of us are just him. No, you don't see shit. You. He made his alertness. Check. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, I failed. No, you made your alertness. You check failed your luck. So you're standing okay. close to him. Um, oh shoot! I made my hit check. Okay, shoot. just one d three. Okay. That's good though. All right. Only one. Yay! Oh. <laughs> I don't know what. Just step away from Grantro. Uh, and basically the light pollution, uh, or the stars, there's not a moon out tonight. You could see basically after having sat out there for hours, yeah. uh, the silhouettes of trees. And now it appears that some of them are moving towards you and whipping back and forth in a, for, in a sort of, uh, I don't know, almost coral, <laughs> uh, or sea-like motion as they sort of like spin and move towards you in the blackness. They're definitively coming closer. Yes. Okay. I whipped my leaves. Can't tell me to get in the house now. Why? <laughs> Just get in the house. Oh, uh, no. It's 15. Oh, okay. Roll, <laughs> roll to dodge. Oh. It's, it's like... No! Like, okay. that's, the, that's the limit of that's your communication. Yeah. Great. Do you want to dodge yourself, or do you want to take Cantrell with you? Is that a penalty to his roll, or is that, like, a different roll? Oh. Uh, if he fails, I'll let him choose who he fails for. Okay. Uh... I've already rolled, but I do want to take Cantrell with. Okay. 
Da, 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 da. It's a 63 da, 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 da. wish. And what is dodge? Dodge is a skill. It's on yeah, dodge yeah. is your skill. Did you didn't put points in it? Uh, you, you did, did put points in it. It's 20. Cause it's 20. Oh, it starts at 30. It was, it oh, it starts at 30. 30. So, so I'm at 50, 50, but I still failed by 13. So, do you fail or does she fail? Oh, man. Sorry. Sorry. No, no. <laughs> no, no pointing from the peanut gallery. The very last remnants of my conscience recognizes Cantrell as time trying to do good, and I fail. Okay. <laughs> so you had six points of armor, right? Yes. All right. So that's. <sighs> Gonna have another touch back. Oh, no. Seven damage. Seven. Okay, I am down to what is health again? Hit points. Hit points? Okay. Str- your yeah. average of your strength and con. That's from last time. Is it round up? Should be back before? at your average of your strength and con. What's your strength and con? Uh, ten and twelve. So that's eleven. So you should okay. be at. You have four hit points. You're at four now. Okay, you're, you're still up unconscious. Yeah, yeah. good job. Let's just hope the trees, you know, take a liking to me. It's not the giving tree. So you feel like uh, you oh, feel the giver tree you feel a push, <laughs> and you hit the ground, and you <laughs> hear feel like wetness, <laughs> and like a swooshing sound go by your head. Uh, so that was fifteen. Uh, it's already gone. Um, uh, so thirteen is Fillmore and Rollins and Astra. They are moving towards the house. The people in the house aren't moving anymore, so don't worry about that. Um, uh, Twelve. Okay, um, since I'm moving into the house, what do I see? Uh, As you get in the house, it's kind of dark. The lights have been off. You see an old man, uh, hand still on a knife, towards a look look, like an emaciated woman on a radiator. Uh, Both are filled full of holes. Uh, Apparently, they heard a noise... Uh, they, uh, there was a shoot in a, he basically went for her and got to her before he was taken down. Uh, so, yeah. That, but that's Uncle Tiberius, I'm guessing. Yes. Mm-hmm. What is the remainder of Uncle Tiberius? Mm-hmm. <sighs> but his livestock still healthy? Uh, so, uh, that's 12. Uh, you... Who is the grenade launcher? Astra. Oh, yeah. Wherever. All in the house. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, like, uh, so. Clear it. Keep the house, or clear the house. Area clear. Guns down. Guns down. Uh, so 12, 11. Nine. T- 10, 9. All right. Uh, you see, uh, you see Dom looking at a, you know, the big cut in where his tack vest was ripped apart. <laughs> And the laceration across his chest that results going... How's my tattoo? <laughs> Remarkably intact. <laughs> you know, leave a good looking That should be a sand check on my part, probably. So. <laughs> yes, you see it now. Oh, oh, it's two of legs sort of stumbling at you in like a waltz dance of... Do you want me to get the miniatures? Tentacles and nonce. Yeah, go ahead and get the miniature there out. There are miniatures? There are miniatures. There are. Ooh. Are there? Oh, oh. Tentacles. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I know what's coming now. Hercules, Hercules. Uh, oh. uh, yes, I made that check, so. All right, just 1v3. Oh, still the Trees. Uh-huh. <laughs> Carlos. My name is Carlos. One. One. Oh, nice. Nice. <sighs> Uh, what's around me? Because I see, I know what he's down. You can run to the back porch. You can run around. You have a radio. You have a gun. You have your voice. I have so, a gun. He is right next to you from where he pushed you out of the way of whatever just tore the shit out of him. What the fuck? Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, no. guys. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I know Astra has the grenade launcher, right? Uh, or just right the- now? You know, you, know you need to shit, go thanks. away from this. Uh, this is bad. Human. <laughs> For size. Yeah. It's a little big. Running back <laughs> while on the radio. I was like, target still active. Need, I was like, reinforcements now. Now. Right, roll athletics. 
Steve running away from me? Yes, he is. I... He's leaving your ass to I'm die. Try- I'm... <laughs> no, I'm trying to get him. <laughs> uh, no. All right, you're moving away from it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so there's that. You can say things though. So. All right, fifteen. What are you doing? Am I in any shape to move? Yeah, yeah you got four hit points left. Oh, sweet. All right, I'm going Getting inside the yeah, house. Yeah, I'm going to try and scramble to my feet and blast into the house. All right. What would that be? Athletics. Athletics. <laughs> I made it. All right. Uh, he goes <laughs> flying past him. So yeah. we Boom! The back door caves in. Yeah. Like, I'm friendly, friendly, friendly! friendly. friendly. <laughs> Hands are up! Oh. Uh, yeah, as you keep running. Yes! Uh, creature goes next uh, as the back porch and uh, what's left of it goes away along with other sides of the house. <laughs> uh, and it goes ripping past you. Uh, so... Uh, I will let you know that there is an attack coming. You can make a dodge check. <laughs> Beneath the door frame. <laughs> <sighs> hey, you ran away from you. <laughs> Fifteen, I make it. All right, you you nice. get the fuck out of the way. Uh, you're <laughs> running around. The, into the side. You're running out of the side of the house uh, as it's tearing the house around you uh, to pieces. Um, so. Uh, Let's roll for everybody. How's Rollins do seeing oh, this? Checks. Yeah. Let's see how he handles it. What's high? Uh, 72. Okay, so it's right high. Uh, he's not doing great. All right. Uh, Philmar's fine. <laughs> it's good. See how Ask is doing. Oh, God. oh no. Yeah, that's the, that's the important one. Nope. Oh. One out of three ain't bad. Uh, Rollins is hurting, but he's holding it together. Let's see how Ask is doing. Fuck Astra. Astra's not doing great. Uh, so... You're boned. <laughs> with the grenade launcher. On this turn, uh, this is 13s, so uh, Rollins goes... <laughs> uh, Fillmore is backing away yeah. towards the door. Uh, Astra is just quiet and looking up at it. Uh, so that's 13s, 12s. That's me. Yeah. Um, is Astra in danger of being hit by the thing next? You're all in danger of everything happening Look, to you. It's in your yeah. house. Yeah, <laughs> Grabbing no. Astra, backing the fuck into the house. All right. Further in. Yeah. Uh, well, Get further out, out. It's coming from the back. You need to head towards the front. Yeah, out the it's front a door. shitty, tiny ranch house. Uh, so. I park so far away. <laughs> <laughs> you did park way far away. Uh, it's going to be a run through the forest. It'll be fine. If you split up, it can't kill all of you. <laughs> well, <laughs> famous last <laughs> words. Yeah, uh, so that's, that's strength times five to just manfully pull him away. Nope. Oh my god, that's a crit, crit fail. fail. Uh, all right, you fall with him, trying to pull him back. Make sure he falls on top so he can absorb the damage. <laughs> oh, oh, Damn it, Bartleby! <laughs> yeah, you've got the tack vest and then another meteor tack vest. Exactly. Tax. You have like three layers of tack vest. His tack vest, his meat, and then your tack. Oh, also, you need to roll sand. Yeah. Oh, what a vest. I'm fine. One d three. One. Yeah. I can't believe it. <laughs> or you could <can> join it. <laughs> uh, Alright, you know, uh, so Dom, you are through the house. Okay, did I run just all the way through? You just ran from the back door straight to the front door. <laughs> okay, uh, bye guys, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> Not the worst idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you keep going. Straight uh, back to the car. It's gonna <laughs> go for to Rollins. Are you adapted to violence? I am not. <laughs> Roll sand again. <laughs> nope. So Rollins is just just cut in half. Just uh, and the wall and everything around is just it, you're just cut you, or bludgeoned in half. I uh, <laughs> that would require light yeah. and I'm, physics. Oh. Uh, Next one, Mythbusters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Fillmore is gonna run. 
Logical. He's not going to make it. Uh, this time, Astra's going to continue gibbering on top of you. What are you going to do? Grab grenade launcher. <laughs> okay, try and get to it. Uh, I'll Next call time. this a dex have, times five. Have heavy weapons? I make. I would say that's pretty much firearms to pull a trigger. I mean, like... It's no, I'm not going to say you have to aim to hit it. I have to say, I'm saying yeah. you have to, like... Wrestle it off of Asker. Wrestle it off of Asker as he's lying yeah. on top of you. And I made that. All right, uh, you can shoot it, but you are in the kill damage radius. It is standing above you. He has cover, though. <laughs> you do have some cover. <laughs> and if uh, I don't do this, we all die. If I do this, I may die. All right, so, so shoot, yeah. Yeah. We're firing. So, uh, firearms, yeah. Uh, he gets point blank on that. As long as I get point blank, we're good. Yeah. You do. <laughs> okay, uh, roll luck. <laughs> I make. Uh, okay, I will say this. It's an M203. It's not supposed to arm right after it's fired. Oh, yeah. It's on a delay. So uh, it's going to go off next round as it goes poof, and a little smoke thing comes up. Kill damage is 10%. Yeah. Uh, or no, actually, if it what's the rate? If its radius is ten meters plus, it's at twenty percent. It's at twenty percent. Okay. Uh, you, and if you gave it the hot stuff, if you told him to pack the oh yeah, we did. I was blow up thermite, grenade. but you know. Um. Okay. Uh. So there's that Cantrell. You just see this thing. Uh. Just swathing through uh, the house like a fucking weed whipper with no Fire. access. And I'm on the side. Yeah. Like, right. You're outside, yeah. You went around the house. Believe it or not, there's still now a view. Cause running the walls for are glory. <laughs> I am Straight back to the this. car? Me too! Yeah. <laughs> Roll navigate! Nope. Fire in the hole. Uh, navigate is a 10% base. Yeah. You, he has to roll too. I just want to see how how who's going to report back what happened. Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. So you can run away. You're picking a direction that's not that thing. Yeah. And moving away from it. I did not make. Eighty versus seventeen. Neither made. But <laughs> yeah. No. They. Yeah. They forgot where the cars <laughs> were. They remembered. Where I mean, the thing do we was. even have the keys? So <laughs> keys would be left at the car. Uh, you roll, Sam. Ready for Aiden to come. Yeah, I don't make that by a long shot. Roll sand again. Okay. Oh, dear. I could fail that. All right. Don't worry about it. I'll get back to you. Okay. All right. Um, so, uh, okay. Uh, that's 15. So, you hear a guttural shriek in the background and a pistol just being unloaded. Uh <laughs> Uh, just like this animal nonsense scream. Uh, you're not really sure what's going on there. It's going to move. Uh, roll luck. If you make it, it's one of the other ones and not you. I make it. All right. Uh, who do you want to go down? Fillmore or Astra? Astra. <laughs> All right. Astra gets plucked from you and it just he just goes into it. He just... <laughs> The tentacle goes up, Astra goes down, the tentacle comes back, and he's not there anymore. Roll sand. No. <laughs> 29 out of 54, so... Are you marking those violence adaptation things? Yeah, you're pretty much adapted to the violence. I am adapted to shit. violence now. Uh, <laughs> That's not a good thing. <laughs> fucking fine. Uh, all right, you're good. Uh, Fillmore goes. He sees his commander go down. Every time you don't, you, lo- you make that shot. Uh, lose it. Fillmore's pretty unperturbable, so he's... <laughs> <laughs> he's just firing into it. Um... If it bleeds, we can kill it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen it bleed yet. I'm hoping, but it's real dark. I'm hoping I'm just missing something. Yeah. <laughs> Phil Moore's uh, an optimist is what I'm saying. So, uh, roll athletics, Dr. Damerol. This is going to suck. Nope. Okay. Normal failure or crit failure? Normal. Okay. I rolled is it really 80 normal out of 22. <laughs> All right. Uh, Cantrell, you're gone bye-bye. Uh, so roll that kill damage. Under ten, under twenty percent, it's just dead. Otherwise, we add the hit points together. But the, he gets his armor. You do get his armor. Huh. Twenty. 
Then you're <laughs> you're dead. It's dead. Oh yeah. But you get to roll separately. Oh okay. So roll for Fillmore. Ninety. Nine. That's uh, 19. So he takes 19 damage. Yeah. Fillmore's gone. You don't have to roll sanity for that because everything's very white all of a sudden. Um, you roll for yourself now. 40. 14. 14 damage. Minus 6 for armor. Do you have how many hit points do you have? Um, currently, well, we went back up to full, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I had 10 minus the 6 from the armor. So 8. So 2. 2 would put you unconscious. Oh, I'm at two out of my ten. Yeah, and when, you, when you're at, when you're at two, you're unconscious. Mm. Yeah. So we'll come back to you guys. Uh, all right, uh, team uh, Growhouse, go straight, team go. <laughs> so okay, so apparently we had time to put on armor. He gave me a sidearm. Mm-hmm. On the bus, I'm going to get excited. You are all sprinting towards the Growhouse now, back. unless you want to. <laughs> See He's what's fine. going on with him. He's oh, fine. Okay. All right, y'all. I got, so we got a whole mission going on. I'm here. supporting. I'm supporting him, and we are behind the other guys. We're where we need to be. Yeah. All right. Who's in Jeez, first? I am looking at him. <laughs> All right. Who's on our team again? Uh, Kelby's your uh, guy with the striker. Striker's going. Yeah, he's going first. Just blowing the door off the hinges. Yeah, we're going. This is like we're loud at this point. Okay. Uh, sorry, he he blows the he blows the doors off the hinges. Yeah, yeah. Way to fire your gun, Ross, and alert it was everybody. Fire tap, all right. It was a good instinct. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> was it? <laughs> well, or, or did he kind of bank on you doing Nair that? Lothotep From loved Hell's Heart, I stab it. Yeah, Nyla Lothotep <laughs> loved you. Uh, if anybody gets to say that line tonight, Ross, it's so me. Yeah. Kelby. <laughs> uh, I think I kicks the door that and that alarm way. starts going up. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you guys, uh, are, are you sending them in first? Yes. Because when you're striker, you blow the door and someone rushes in. Actually, after you. I'm taking, I'll take point. All right, so you take point, you come in, uh, roll alertness. God damn it. 67 out of close enough behind to okay. get it in yeah. yeah, all right, you can go in too, if I'm, you want to be the second I'm man in the door. In, I guess, and... Basically, the way it works, somebody blows the door off, you guys both go in at once. Okay. So, guns drawn, I'm moving in, so I'm Roll alertness. Out of 70, black, four. All right, you see uh, you see eyes from behind the counter looking up over it. What do you want to do? Okay, to announce, he, this is a thoroughly unscrupulous character. Between the eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sushi? You'd be a good bastard would like you. Hey, hey, Sean. Uh, yep. You remember uh, the, uh, the ninth gate? Thoroughly unscrupulous. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You. Unfortunately, my my yeah firearms is uh where was it? Fifty. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yellow. Thirty three. Critical. That's so. Oh uh, yeah. So. <laughs> uh, scanning the blood everywhere. Uh, you're both adapted to violence, so. <laughs> They are too. Moving on. He's just a tango. Uh, exactly. We're clearing this place. You know, you know, so he was standing up uh, where the stairs uh, open up, the spiral staircase downward. Were there any uh, like alarm? Oh, the alarm's already gone. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, you blew the door off the hinges. Yeah, sure. All right. In this case, like you know, let's get some flashbangs down there. Okay. Yeah, you throw them down. Uh, who goes east? Who goes west? Your order. You're doing the orders now. All right. I'll go east. Uh, other I, team is the other Condite. team commander here. Yeah, you got Condite, Kelby, Festus, and Amagov. All right. Really uh, names, so okay, three. Like, so there's six of us. So three. <laughs> Festus has a uh, sniper rifle. Kelby has a shotgun. Condite and Amagov. I'll get this. Okay, the guy with the shotgun with me. The other two, he can lead. The other guy, commander can lead his team uh, All right. west. So. So I guess I'll be following. Yeah, you're with me, Alex. And okay, so you guys are going with. Uh, you guys are going with Kelby. Draw and there we go. All right, uh, so they will do their own thing. I will see how it works out for everyone. <sighs> everyone. We all die. You know what? Like, be, like you know, no one would really suck. There is a dark young here, too. <sighs> Sigh. I bet they're doing fine. My character's going to get eight. Like, no, it ain't. You're going to get torn apart and eaten piece by piece. Oh. Okay. Let's let them fight it first, if there's a way to do that. 
I don't know if there is. But if is there a cheat code? If we're, rolling, if, if, if we're rolling luck, uh, you're doing it. Okay. Because here. He's right. making ro He's making rolls, ladies and gentlemen. We don't know what they're for. Yeah. They're probably fine. You're fine. It's, everything's fine. Well, they're, they're, they're mainly just rolls to kind of psych us out. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to work. <laughs> we're like, uh, we have psychotic bravado here. <laughs> You'll need it. All right. Uh, so you get down uh, the spiral staircase. You see it splits both ways. Uh, you send uh, one team the other way. You have to face the other. So you two roll in. So dex order. I have 17. Uh, 14. 17, 14, uh, they have 13s, and they have that. Okay, so, uh, all right, 17 goes first, obviously. Uh, so what you see is just pot plants. As far as we can into see. Into the vanishing fucking distance. <laughs> uh, you see... Uh, just like the jungle. You see a guy with filed teeth just holding shears looking over at you. <laughs> uh, Wait, yeah. Is there anyone else there? If yes, like uh, you see uh, another person running down the aisles. Towards uh, us? No, away from you, and that's all you can see. In because otherwise, on the sides, it's just a jungle. It's a, okay, it's like, it's whatever side. Get the Isles guy. Okay, like we're like it's like target left. Just point that guy out. The one, the, the guy over there. I'm going with my fleeing. Okay, and I'll go after the I guess the other one. So 17. That's first. Yeah. Shooting. Shoot him in the back. 65 go. made it. Okay, roll damage. That's a. It's or did you burst it? No, you said you just said. Yeah, D12. Yeah, D12. Two. Okay, you get a hit. Uh, there's that. So pointing out, basically pointing out target over there. Uh, 16, 15, 14? 14. 14. All right. Okay, so... You see two guys in the middle of the aisle. One's riding, the other one's just holding the shears. Right? So since the initial order was for you to shoot the one that was riding... Yeah, I, I, said, I said target left. So I'm shooting, the sh I'm shooting shears. Okay, shoot him. Yellow. 66. Oh, hell no. That's a crit. That's, That's a crit, crit fail. Yes. Gun uh, jams. Gun jams. It's useless. <sighs> I guess I know what I'm doing next turn. Fixing your gun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Next. All right. That's 14, 13 is going to go. So That'd be him. Be our other guy, right? Remember, you're technically still part of a law enforcement like criminal thing. So maybe saying... Uh, surrender. So Kelby's gonna shoot. Yeah. <laughs> surrender. What's yeah. that? Oh, he critted. Uh, Kelby critted. So uh, I will say, with the shotgun, he would take the easier target. So sheer guy goes huh? uh, as you jump gas, and then he goes. Boom, no retreat. Flying <laughs> across <laughs> and skidding into the ground. It's very. It's it's very. You he know, gets just very blown Tarantino. apart. Very by a striker. Um, so oh, then, very, take guys gonna act, other balls. people gonna act. All right, it's the jungle now. They know you're here. They're not coming out. I need a new gun. You need to go <laughs> into the stacks. Right. Sidearm here. Okay, switch out sidearm. Put this one away just in case. But fresh sidearm. Right. Let's start. Let's start clearing the clearing the rows. All right. I'm gonna change initiative order a little bit. Initiative goes by alertness check. As you're in the jungle now. Okay. That means you too. Yes, I know, Ross. God we, damn it. So we go by how much we beat it or what? Uh, Just roll. Just roll. Highest success goes first. Okay. So having a high alertness does not. Well, no, because highest success. Okay. So, so like, yeah. five, five, how much you beat? A, f a 40 would go before a 4. Okay. So. Huh. Okay, so I want to cut it close. Highest, yeah, it's okay. blackjack. Rules. Yellow. 48. 48, is that, a, is, that, is that a success? Yeah, out of 7. Okay. Oh, okay. good. What'd you get? 37. You left that spot, like that one spot open, like you knew. <laughs> he knows. It's all pre de it's all Of course, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that tattoo, Dude, I Dude, you also, yeah, you, you were destined to get French kissed by Nyarl. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Alright, 48, you're up. Uh, so that, you're moving that's in. That's him, that's me. Uh, you're moving in the sacks. Okay. Uh, what are you doing with your weapon? It's out. I gave him my I'm waiting arm. for something to move. Yeah, he got a new sidearm. Okay. Yeah. okay. I got a fresh sidearm from him, and I put the old uh, one so away. So you see movement across the aisles, you can shoot. Yeah. Fuck it, it's not one of us. All right. It's a negative 20, though. You're shooting through a bunch of pot oh, plants. Rose this might not work, but let's try anyways. So I'm sitting at, what was it again? 50, 50. so. 30. 30. Ah, oh, black. Yes. 15. All right. Nice uh, roll damage. What, should how be much damage? It should be a D8. D8, all right. Or a D10. Or D10. Is it D10? Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Nine. Okay. 
Piao. Pew pew. Don't get back up, you're dead. You can't get and back up. And then the horse is like, we told them to surrender. Three, seven, you're up. Yeah. Uh, do I see anyone? Uh, yeah, you got a 37. You see movement. Okay. Okay. It's more real gunfight now. It's yeah. like, mm-hmm. yeah. maybe there's something. <laughs> yeah. Like I said. Okay. If it's, uh, if it's not much, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like three round burst. Yeah, you can just <laughs> shoot and hope you kill something. Minus <laughs> one. 36. Yep. All right, roll damage. So d12. Yeah, I'll just do it. So, I don't need it anymore. Does the burst? <laughs> does, does the burst do anything oh, for that? I got my one kill. Hey Ross, what? does the burst do anything? Uh, burst. If it's if you went with kill damage thing, then it would be. Uh, if you have an M4, you have a ten percent kill damage chance. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So roll, you roll kill, kill damage for the burst. Yeah, roll roll percent. So roll percentile. Okay. And it's a five round or no three round burst. Yeah. Seven. Something's dead. Uh, <laughs> Thank uh, you. All right. So there's that. Actually, I should probably keep that. I might need yeah. that. Well, for single shots. So. Actually, uh, I have my own. They're going to go. Tutter. You hear a boom. Is that one of our guns? Give me your pot. You hear uh, Kelby scream. Shit. You hear... Uh, gunfire whistling around <laughs> you. Uh, <laughs> and, it's like, it's like, oh man, I've been in the jungle before. Yeah, this is your character's wheelhouse. Uh-huh. You've waited this entire adventure for this. Well, I know, the last previous. I know, the one I did with you, I got to survive through the woods yeah, that's and true. kill a guy and torture a guy. Yeah. <laughs> that was the wow. highlight. <laughs> Not fighting, taking on three attacks. I freaked, uh, I freaked yeah. him. The that's fuck the out. highlight. Yeah. yeah. So, what's up? Uh, so, you, you heard Kelby shout. You killed something. Mm-hmm. Bullets went by your heads, uh, and that's what you know. So roll alertness again. Black. Eighty-eight. Crap. Fifty-five. <laughs> a crit failure and a crit success. Crit failure. What's your alertness? Sixty-one. Okay. What was it? Fifty-five. So I guess I'm cringing as the bullets go past. Okay. And you're like, oh, we. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yay. <laughs> It's like Maui Wowie. <laughs> I better take. I better try this. Make sure that it's really evil. <laughs> <laughs> He's had plenty of tries. For what the oh, Tommy no Chong approach of drug testing? Oh, no, no. Yeah. how is Kelby doing? It's evil. Is he still alive? Yes, so not great. Well, he's got armor. He'll he's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah. All right, uh, Johnny Crit, uh, you see a guy with a shotgun stalking across the aisles from you. First. <laughs> All right. Well, like with the crit, you wipe this. Is it still the minus 20? Or is it- oh, no, he, no, you see, with your crit, you see him. So, yeah, it's normal. 80. I hit him. <laughs> with an 80? I have an 81. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll percent. <laughs> 23. Okay. Uh, that does five damage. You wing him. Yeah. Okay. You wing him. One bullet. Uh, but he knows you're there, so he won't. Yes. Uh, he was also a little injured before, so. Uh, there was that. Uh, another one. He's going to. Oh, yeah. He's going to shoot at you. Uh, real not happy with you. I bet. Red Sox. Stop shooting me. Uh, he misses. And you're adapted to violence, you're like, yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like look. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you're a one punch man all of a sudden. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, then there is regular fail. Gonna shoot at you. Pew! Yay. You got a vest, you're fine. Yeah. Uh, he will hit. Uh oh. Maybe not. Okay, for. For four damage. So wait, it's not his turn yet, so could he make his action to dodge it? You can't dodge gunfire. Okay. My other question, okay, so I had a vest, does that mean... It reduces the amount of damage. By so. the vest rating, so if it's so. four, then you didn't take damage, you take one in the chest. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah one point for bruise. He's okay. got a bruise. Yeah. Alright, so... You for... didn't lose anything. Okay, gotcha. Uh, it's more, but you got a cool bruise now. You can shoot at where you thought it came from. Might as well. So that's minus 20, but another firearms. <sighs> Black. Zero three. You hit. <laughs> Nice. Uh, so roll damage. You ten. One. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> I've done that. Don't We're work. just winging oh, each other. Wah, wah. <laughs> Remind me to tell you about so Monk's Landing. It's the Battle of the Flesh. Oh, God, <laughs> this is better than Monk's Well, tactically. All right, uh, so uh, roll alertness again, you two. Oh, don't bodge. Don't bodge. All right, black. I'm, I'm, I'm 22. 40. Yeah. That's a crit. Yeah. Okay. Whee! I'm suddenly very pissed off because I got a gun hickey. No. <laughs> <laughs> got a hickey. 43. Wow. Happy I'm, birthday, I'm 43. It is time to unleash the fury. <laughs> unleash the fury, bitch. <laughs> unleash the fury. <laughs> Alright, uh, someone's going to take it away, Johnny Crit success. Uh, shooting at him. Do I have any penalties this time? Or killing cultists for... Uh, that really does. Is it a straight roll? Or it's very is it? odd. Uh, it minus, uh, no, with he, a crit, you yeah. see him. Okay. Yeah. He, he shot at me? I don't know. It's okay. Uh, uh, black. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it first happened on the it looks like it's three. Nobody commented. Yeah. Yeah. So re-roll, re-roll the black. Yeah. Re-roll t- oh. Just re-roll them all. Okay. Yellow. <laughs> 65. That is not a success. All right, you miss. Uh, 43. That's me. That's you. Uh, put holes in him. I'm gonna put some holes. Yeah, minus in him. twenty. I know. I'm gonna put some holes in where I think he is. Sixty-five. That was a miss. That's a miss. Okay. Uh, they're gonna shoot. Critical failure. Critical failure. A hundred. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, dude, if it's a shotgun, does it blow back? Say, they, no, they, they, they are chosen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you are neutral. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You, you are noobs. Yeah. Uh, then uh, the other one's going to shoot. Uh, out one. That that's will it. hit. Uh, oh. You. This one's going to hurt. All right, it is. Uh, is it killed? Damage? Twelve damage. All right, it's a shotgun. It's two d ten, but you right. take your armor off of that. So six, six. So of that. yeah, so six damage. Well, you hear a big beefy guy. Uh, Kelby's gonna try and find somebody to shoot. Kelby is gonna find somebody to shoot. He's gonna shotgun, shotgun guy. Woo! So, Go Kelby. so Kelby's back up. Just uh, all right. Um, last round. Uh, he knows his buddies aren't there. He's just gonna walk in the middle and just start with his just sharp Wyatt teeth. Urban. Yeah, he's he's just he's done. Uh, he's just shooting at you. Roll luck to see who's shooting at. Oh, both of us are him. Both of you. Crap. Kelby's 14. lying on the ground. Fourteen. <sighs> Made it. Black. Holy crap, I made a luck roll. What'd you get? 21 out of 50. Okay. Uh, so. I better hope you get him. <laughs> okay. Burst. Okay. 90! <laughs> Fuck! Oh. <laughs> okay. Do I get a chance to shoot or no? Okay. <laughs> You're after him in his order. Okay, gotcha. His dice is uh, 15 or 16? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but he misses. So, uh, you know, hydroponics are exploding. <laughs> uh, pot plants are being cut in half by buckshot. How physically uh, close is he, by the way? Lights are like tearing across in the air. Uh, he's walking towards you. He's getting closer. Is he? Fi- can I actually make a an unarmed attack on this guy? You I'm- can roll a sand check, though. What? Uh, he's actually driving into gun. Oh, it's not violence. Oh, it's unnatural. Yeah. Okay. okay well, I probably have to make that roll anyways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> do it. My sanity points. I'm going by the current or the maximum. Yeah, current. Current. Sanity checks are always the current. 39. Okay. Yellow. You're doing better. 24. He must just be trying to put on a brave face laughing like that. (laughs) I'm totally normal. Uh, Using grappling, I'm basically going to put the bastard on the floor and make sure he doesn't have a gun. All right. Unarm it. He's going to... He's this. He can fight back. All right. But, okay. It's whoever gets the highest successful roll. Blackjack rolls. So you both roll. Black... 34, it is, a, it is a success. I've got 70, so... Ah, no, uh, You beat him. Okay. He fails by four. So he's on the ground and hopefully doesn't have a gun anymore. Uh, yeah, you can disarm him. And if... At that get, point. At this point, if, if there's any more, anything I can do, I'm just beating his face into the floor. Well, okay. that, that was your round to disarm Okay, so yeah, so he's disarmed. 
Yeah, he's disarmed. So, uh, gunfire peters out. Uh, Calvis, oh, fucking shit. Uh, he's trying to piece himself back together. Con, it's uh, screaming, get the EMT! Get the, uh, you apparently... Which they, EMT? They uh, worked uh, okay on the other side, but it didn't go great. So, uh, Amagov is dead. Festus and Condon are unhurt. All the cultists on that side are dead. And if uh, I just walk up to this one... Uh, he's you all can. The, he's all the floor. Well, no, you can interrogate him. True. You want, probably want I, at least one prisoner. I've already got him. All right, in that case, do. actually, uh, yeah, I'll zip tie him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Kelby is horribly injured. All right, um... This camera off. off before you zip tie him, just in case. Hmm? Uh, you just hear loud ringing sounds in what remains of your ears. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Get up. Things dead. Uh, the house is burning, and there's meat parts <laughs> everywhere. You don't feel hungry anymore. Okay. That other guy is, though. You see a shape in the flames, just elbow deep in it. Just. Uh, elbow deep in some mass of no! inside of it. Dude, is it dude, is he still alive? <laughs> no, does Astra Find a gun! Is, is Astra still alive? My own. Where? So, uh, uh, you got blown across the goddamn backyard. Dude, is that Astra? You're only still alive because you were halfway up when the shockwave oh. threw you out the window. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm that's sorry. alertness to find a gun. And like okay. shit gun. In that case, getting as far away from that house as I can. <laughs> All right. Uh, roll sneak. sneak yeah, sneak, that's not going to go sneak. good either. Uh, let's try the alertness first. Let's get gun and then get gone. 20. <laughs> Made the alertness. All right, you find, uh, you find a pistol scrabbling in the do dirt. This, do this like a quick time event boosting <laughs> of an action game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, <laughs> out of curiosity, what is your alertness, Dom? Uh, 40. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. It's just... Chaos. <laughs> elbow deep in that thing. Crawling chaos. <laughs> Identify. Deep fried krill. Uh, all right. It, it turns around. It's covered in... Black slick gore. Uh, roll human. I actually have a level of that. <laughs> I'm at twelve. <laughs> nope. Oh God! There's another one. Identify now. It's not talking. It's shrieking. Oh God! It could be a victim. Is it advancing? Oh yeah, it's coming towards you. Okay, but I don't feel hungry. It seems hungry. Once it gets in point blank, fire. Okay, roll luck. We'll see if the fire flares while it's close. Yes, made luck. Okay. Take luck. That's dumb. Roll sand. That's a no. <laughs> okay, that's going to be 1d6, because... Hey, he has that thing you have. Oh, fuck. So, 52. Is that your break point? Um, my break point is 56, so I hit it. Yeah. Uh, so that's your break point. Yes. So do you want to go catatonic? <laughs> do you want to freak out and run away? Or do you want to fight? What will David do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're emptying that clip. <laughs> wow, really? You know it's him now. Well, I also know that he's crazed and trying to kill me. You don't know that. Yeah, you don't know that. Well, right. he's got that, well, that sanity. Yeah, yeah, he's nah. scared of that. All right, fair enough. And that's oh, all yeah. it takes. So, uh, <laughs> roll to hit. Nope. Aiden! Yeah, huh? Uh, no, Aiden. Aiden's not lingual. 
Oh. Uh, so, uh, Aiden knows that this thing is tainted. It drank from it. It drank from that thing that you just feasted upon. There's more. There's more to be had, Aiden. Uh, so I'll let you roll for yourself here. All right. All right, what am I rolling? I'll just roll. I'll just uh, roll. Eat it. Jeez, yeah. It looks so delicious. <laughs> Nine. Okay. Uh, so it comes at you. Uh, how do you want to attack, Aiden? Well, I don't know. What's, uh, what's most vulnerable? <laughs> you really want to use your teeth. Very do. They'll okay. get it into the stomach quicker. All right, so uh, roll 1d3. Okay. One. One. All right, it bites your hand. Uh, but you don't really register that. You're just more shooting. Uh, so you can... Uh, who, what's dex again, then? Uh, mine is 12. 15. Oh, fuck, it's faster than you. Uh, roll attack. 30. 30, all right. Uh, you can... Actually, you can't fight back. You can just shoot, because you were in full-blown... Which is your kill. Well, he's biting my hand, so... Yeah. yeah. Well, well you'll my... shoot, but you can't, like, melee back, is what I'm saying. So he will hit, unless you spend your action to dodge and don't shoot back. But you can't dodge, because you're an indefinite, so you're... Well, indefinite. no, they can it fight back. Like, that's both their turns. So they both roll a post. All right, so you can roll fight melee, back. All right. Uh, all right, all right. So, so basically, they're wrestling with each other. Oh, yeah. I mean, if he's biting his gun hand, he would probably... That's probably <laughs> equivalent of a disarm. <laughs> yeah. So well, um, I did make on my unarmed which uh, is minus good. thirty-eight, which is higher than his thirty. Okay, so roll one d three. Uh, the gun's on the ground now. It's <laughs> it's getting primal. Yeah. Oh, uh, both roll one d three. No, he uh, did okay. damage. To he you. did okay, three cool, damage cool. to you. I'm a one. Well, I'm a one. So you're yeah. unconscious. Yes. And then there were two. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, roll luck. Okay. Yes. Okay, Cantrell, you're completely lost. You see a light in the distance. Uh, so you come up, just flames around this house. Uh, sirens in the background. You see uh, Kamarov just... Uh, just wailing on something beneath him. Just trying to bury his fist in the dirt. Just screaming and punching at the ground. Nope, we're done. <laughs> so you're not going to do anything nope, nope. to stop us. That's helpless, then. <laughs> That's, uh, that'd probably be a mark on helplessness, too, just because... To just walk away? Yes. From your patient, yeah. From no, actually, patients. this is one, because... Wait, yeah, he's going to alert this to see if he recognizes who's on the ground. Uh, well, he's covered in well, blood okay. and ichor, and, and yeah. it's well, dark. I would say, you need to make the roll on humans to thing. say... If, I'm letting you decide. Do you stop it, or do you just watch? If you stop it, you know, we've all lived. <laughs> if you don't stop Great it, you are yeah, indirectly just, responsible for the death like of one of the two parties. What's more in But it's his character. All right, so the uh, member card filled up, and I noticed it right away, so uh, when we last picked off, it would be explaining to... <laughs> yeah, things were fine. <laughs> what happened? What the ramification So, uh, as I explained to everybody else, uh, Dr. Cantrell... Uh, saw a operation go terribly tactically wrong. Random gunfire, confusion. The trees came alive. Uh, there was blood on her face. Then she ran into the woods. The house exploded behind her. She got lost, came back, and found a 61-year-old man trying to beat something to death that he was straddling across his chest. Uh, so, uh, you could try and calm the person down, you could shoot, you could try and physically restrain them, or you could just let it happen. Guns. Oh, and by the way, ears are also bleeding. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> Among other things. <sighs> ears are bleeding, too. Could I see that in the, in, uh, in the firelight? You could roll medicine, or you could roll alertness. I'll let you pick. I'll go alertness. I have... Yes, 38 out of 50. Yes, you see the ears are bleeding. He seems really engrossed. It wouldn't be hard to sneak up on him. So, would it be human or... Oh, it's like human to see if I could actually get through to him, or is this... It just look like it's pretty much too far gone compared uh, to the green. At this point, you need to knock him out. He wouldn't see you coming. If you're going to save whatever he's punching. 
All right. Whatever it is, you know. So would yeah, that be considered yeah. unarmed combat for a pistol whip? Mm-hmm. So, or. All right. This coming behind. Well, pin him basically. Well, and then there, you can put him in a show. Brain damage. So you can just hit him. All right. It's not that. So you don't have to roll. It's, okay. He's, so he is literally oh. deaf. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Doesn't this smell like chloroform? All right. So the doctor goes back down. Uh, he was down to two hit points. So now he's down to one. No, I was at one. Oh well. So now I'm at zero. Wait, well, if you, no. again, if you were two, then you're unconscious. So basically, technically, yeah, yeah, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. So you're out. looking down. Yeah. Uh, looking down, who is he? Uh, it's something. There's not much of its face left. Uh, I'm going to make you pull a Aaron on this one. You're going to lose some charisma stats. Okay. Uh, from having your face pounded in by Dr. Kamaroff. But at least he didn't shoot you to death. <laughs> Calling uh, him to home base. Just medevacs immediately. Well, it's... Uh, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting his name. It's really. So, it's really. Yeah. Uh, it's no, really. they're sending people... Uh, they, they had backup station, but things happened kind of quick. I just kind of go down to both my knees and just stand sitting. Next uh, to them. So you see his, uh, you see this one's hand moving in the dirt. He's still unconscious though. Uh, roll sand. What symbol is it making in the dirt? Uh, twenty nine. Made it. Uh, lose <laughs> one. Definitely unnatural. <laughs> The stablest character I've ever had. <laughs> uh, you've never seen someone draw a portrait without looking while one arm is broken and their face is closed shut from swelling, but you see him draw a pretty good picture of what Dom looks like. Uh, then you, sh- <laughs> then there is a uh, plus sign next to it. Uh, then there is a tiny stick figure. Uh, and then there's an equal sign. And then there looks like teeth. And you're really unsure what that means, uh, but he's he would be. They're gonna want you to take pictures of that, uh, <laughs> according to your brief. Uh, Document everything. That's gonna happen when. I <laughs> don't <No>, right now. <laughs> All right. So, so uh, basically, um, after action for Astra dead, Rollins dead, Fillmore dead. Hospitalized, face real Again. fucked up, but Don makes it. Yes! <laughs> yes! It's okay. Plastic surgery uh, is amazing. <laughs> camera off, equally fucked up, but just burns over most of his body. A suit will cover a lot of that. Um, and pretty crazy. Uh, so you, Dr. Cantrell, real weirded out. Uh, not sure you like this job. Uh, Arthur, standing outside, get off, get off, get off, as gunfire and other <laughs> cars pour in around you. Uh, Amagov, resuscitated! Yay! Just, you know, Woo! a lifelong... He was a fighter. ...debilitation, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Festus, alive, Condon, alive, thoroughly fucking freaked out. Hey, uh, she's right for the program. Yeah, right for the program. <laughs> Gilbalt dead. Uh, you somewhat injured. Uh, yeah. Six damage. That's not nothing. Uh, How I'll, many I'll, I'll you have left? I have ten left. Oh, yeah. Kelby also real fucked up, but apparently he was pretty much a hoss. Uh, he had three hit points left after that shot he took, and he kept shooting. Um, <laughs> he like, you sure took he some damage as well. Oh, so uh, he just got a gun uh, he just got a gun hickey. Gun hickey. Uh, Chocho, uh, cultist interrogatable. Yeah. For whatever that means. Uh, <laughs> metagame plot. Uh, the remains of Tiger Transit took what they could salvage from it. Got le- got weed legalized. They took the last person they knew from the f- uh, free love study group that wasn't eaten by a fucking chub nigger rock spawn. Uh, and they got him a special place. Uh, where they sent him money on the way back from the dispensaries to live and sacrifices on the way from the grow house uh, so he could milk uh, the thing they needed for it. They used milk to grow the weed. Uh, they used the weed to make the money, and they really just wanted to make a bunch of money. Just, it was <laughs> Nair Lothotap for fun and profit. Uh, Nair Lothotap... You aren't really that cool, things killing his cultists, but they really kind of lost the faith, and he was excited to see Vast again. 
Uh, I don't mind. They had a good time back in Egypt back in the day. Um, so I, I haven't seen you since high school. <laughs> pretty much. Um, and that was God's breath. So questions, comments, reactions. Uh, I really like it. Uh, I, I did like the fact that you were kind of leading him on with possible king in yellow initially until. <laughs> Cause. No, I thought I was. I was figuring like if it was friendly to bass, I thought it would be like notice. Like, hey, well, the only reason I saw is go you hunting had, together. You had the yeah. you had the yeah. motor yeah. cross guy in a yellow tracksuit and oh, a I helmet. Didn't even, I didn't even think on that. It was I wear. I mean, and the, I thought bloody <laughs> no, that can't be Nyla. Like, How could bass Nyla to be blood? Oh God, that's even worse. Uh, <laughs> Nyla yeah. is the emissary yeah. uh, deity of the mythos, from my right. understanding. It's the one that bothers to talk to other things. Right, right. Just wonder not. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so they're, but they're yeah, they're opposites. Like bass does. And talk and kills things and Violetha talks to people and corrupts them. So I thought they would be adversaries, not but work buddies. Dude, <laughs> yeah, it's opposite it's tracks, man. Complicated, it's basically. complicated. All yeah. right, fair enough. Uh, uh, yeah, I know what. Uh, basically, I just thought it would creep you out, like how fucked up it would be if you were yeah. possessed by a unspeakable, unnameable god. That if you were also its teeth, it was doing other things with its mouth. Yeah, uh, uh, and <laughs> okay. you got to be it. Fetishistically too. So, uh, whoever was first at the site was going to get oh, a that, taste of Nyla. And you were the only one that were touched. But I wanted to make sure we had coverage on both sides. <laughs> you got coverage. Yeah. Uh, was, so yeah. And I have to say, I did love the accidental uh, group PvP. Yeah. <laughs> no, it worked out. Uh, uh, sometimes yeah. it just gets like that. And I think. I mean, obviously, the tactical thing at the end. Uh, I needed to expand it because it was supposed to be a lot faster in the original thing, but we went over it. Yeah. Uh, well, it's a very complex, Might like, a they're a very well-organized group, okay. and I'll it's not an easy yeah. target. Yeah, I don't like idiot plotting either, so yeah. I didn't want them to just be like, we're <laughs> cultists. <laughs> right, right. Well, I know that, but like, we really are cultists. Where they yes, are. we yeah. are. And they're really well-organized, so it's, it's hard, it's a hard problem to peel, no matter how. And I also wanted to give you NPC cannon oh, fodder that had names and personalities. No, that was a great time. I really you were just like, like, like I'm definitely yeah. going to use that. Uh, feeding NPC. A, like, no, that's a good, t- I like that, that we had to uh, think about it. Oh, by the way, the miniature that I get is from Cthulhu Wars, uh, which is put out by yeah, uh, great, Andy great Peterson. Mini- great miniatures. Uh, yeah, it's definitely Dark Young. I can't yeah. make up a new monster every time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> break. Hey, uh, no, it's fine. The classics uh, are there for a reason. I know for Provost, he is going to study the natural because he is also going to develop megalomania because he thinks he's not sure. He wants to study, he needs to understand what's going on with himself, and he's not sure if he wants to start the new Bastard Cult or figure a way to rid the curse from himself. Uh, uh, yeah, if you'd been there, you'd know that uh, yeah. Aiden was trying to communicate that he can make more. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if he, I see that, film, Aiden is what Delta Green is looking for. Yes, he knows. He, yes! Is, he is a pre-lingual yeah. uh, sub personality. Oh my god! Uh, yes! It doesn't use language. It speaks only in image and action. Uh, and, and so, is, so is Aiden here to stay now? For please. Well, he'll be an NPC once Dom goes to zero seven. Yeah. So that's coming up. Yeah, that's not, I'm at. Yeah, like I, I, think is, I think Lydia. Oh, did Lydia I get any for killing that sorceress? Uh, you didn't know she was a sorceress. I did know she's the CEO of the goddamn. All right, I'll give you one. And D3. I just saw her kill someone with. Magic. All right, I'll give you one d three. God damn, Caleb. You shot a car. I shot a person who killed someone with magic. You shot a magic car. <laughs> that's, the, that's the most you can say. My like magic cars no, are pretty you scary. Are a stingy GM. <laughs> I'm a stingy GM in Delta Green, yeah. which I'm supposed to be. Yeah, yeah likely yeah. story. <laughs> and well, Kamarov, I would say he gets sanity for killing the Archive, but then he, you know, probably spent it killing his team. Yes. So, I, I, I said he didn't because he shot a gun and then he went unconscious. All right. <laughs> Uh, I'll give well, Lydia back, but I don't see her coming back. Oh no, Lydia's coming back. It's not really up to her anymore. Yeah, <laughs> blood in, blood out. Yeah, yeah. And we have a new. Hey, we have a new source of replacement characters. <laughs> yes, <laughs> all those people who survived that fire. That's true. Yeah, Shreddy Vassar rolls Pardon deep. Me, I'm gonna, like, uh, swing by here. All right. Uh, oh, so we'll end that episode. Yeah, at the beginning, I did want to say I kind of like how. Uh,